Let's go see what's there. Oh. <laughs> All right. I like getting some sun here. It's peaceful. Sometimes it isn't. Especially when people love to jump on this umbrella. They jump up and down. Up and down. They love to bounce on that thing. It drives me out of my skin. Nothing I can do but complain, I suppose. What are you doing? You're ruining this very pleasant day. Stop that bouncing right now this instant. You just can't come here and bounce like some sort of overexcited youth. You're stressing me out. You need to calm down. Here's some free advice. You'll never be able to get up there. I've seen people with better legs than you try. Fine. If you really want, you'll need two things. First up, a good attitude. That just applies to life in general. Everything is in the attitude. Then you need to visualize bouncing higher. Or, I don't know, learn a new skill. Should you figure something out? You'll learn how to bounce someday. I just know you can't get up there without a combination of things. A comical attitude, more leg power. Now stop it! Just as a person doesn't like it when people jump on my umbrella. Really? Okay, the first one is always like... Ah. I guess it is another skill I have to learn. Lame. Okay, well. At least that gives me a bit more info. Okay. Three things I haven't found, so I'm gonna go check for that. And I'm gonna punch that. Morning. Morning. Sugar, like a crusher. Everything is all. It, everything is held up by the crusher. Morning. Uh -huh. Yeah. here. And it looks like there was three things I hadn't found. Boom. Add that in.
That's cool. Okay. Because of the traversal power? Which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? Is it on the outside? That's how I get... Okay, that's how I get out. Definitely didn't have this last time. What do I need? Like a triple jump? Lame. Alright. Alright, let's... It's GTFO. I need to use washroom quickly.
Alrighty, we're back. Sorry about that. Okay, I'll plant all the corn. You know, would you have a snack or something? Absolutely. I can't give thirds, but he likes tea. Hey, what's up? More apples. I was like, wait, what? And then I'm like, oh yeah, we just broke through the ice. Fire glow. That is what I need for the rock breaker. And I guess I can only do that when ghost when I have ghost stuff. I'm glad I looked. So yeah, if I have to plant a bunch of fire glow, that's fine. I just want to grab that quick. I am curious who is actually responsible. Ah, here we are. Do you hear that, Stella? It is that music, an organ, string. How incredibly stirring. How dark and mysterious. Oh, what beauty. So would you mind letting the music in? would mean so much absolutely let the notes flow flew you let the music straight straight to your heart It's free money, so I'm just like, might as well. I'm just glad I have some fucking fire glow to plant. And I have the thing that can speed it up with uh, playing my music. Oh, 
Hey. Fire glow. Fire glow. Fire glow. All right. Water. Oh, the fire glow. And more fire glow. Because I, I know I need a bunch. So dramatic and swelling, I love it. Absolutely fine. You know, I'll just let those grow normal. It's a guest house. And I have everything I need for the rock destroyer. Let's get some sleep. Where are we going? Okay, we were there. I don't care about the Calix Mines currently. Go to the North Sea here. Oh. 
three things of coffee beans. Watered morning. Have you eaten? Yeah, you're good. Oh, sure. Nice cup of tea. Morning. Alright. Uh, Morning. Want some food? Reminds me of wait. Territory again on the mind you is better than that. There we go. Ooh, you got pinks? Thank you. Damn, fire glow is growing quick. We're almost to the other lighthouse too. <laughs> oh, and it's a zip liney one. So I could, there would have been no point in coming here until I got the zip line power. Adam? You've got a that face. Larry Salzberg knows faces. Yours could be on a poster. On a billboard. You're not talking, but I can imagine your voice. And I hate it. But we can fix that in post. We'll get one of the girls to dub everything. It'll be perfect. What? You are not an actress? You don't do vaudeville? You've never been with Zigfield? Nothing for those French shepherdesses or whatever it's called? That's impossible. You would have been perfect. But, it's true. Your pure undiscovered talent. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't matter. It would be called something like Visions of Perfection. A thriller. Murder. Suspense. Something to get the blood boiling. Something to make the town talk. Talking about my young new star. It will be a box office smash. Can't you see it? Yeah. No, I could count on just walking the streets. You'll be a star in no time or my name isn't Larry Salzberg. No need. Now we'll need to find you a co-star. My casting director is on her honeymoon with her new view. Bo. Some are warm. It doesn't matter. What does it matter in this picture? I just thought about in the last five minutes. I do need to cast this picture with stars. Star power. T this town is drier than my shirts on a clothesline in the summer. Let's see. Joan is filming that daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Judy is off somewhere magical. We'll need to find someone with grumption. Gumption. Gravitas. And there's this veteran, Catherine, who would work. Mm -hmm. Apparently she's been taking in nature recently. Somewhere on obscure canopy, I believe. Wait one second. Mm -hmm. I just had another idea. We could also go the demure naive route. Someone like Ingrid. Mm -hmm. She could also do justice to our new movie. She just bought a new place in the old central district. You could go meet her there. Ah! So many possibilities. Casting movies, what a rush. Alright. I'll leave it in your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone that you think will pop on the screen. Damn! Some lunatic wakes me up every day. He jumps in the water, screaming. He always says, oh, what is it? I'm the big fish man or something like that. He's so loud. It's not just the screaming. It's the thrashing in the water. Poor fellow doesn't seem to know how to swim. I should close my bedroom window. Maybe not. 
It came here for the ocean breeze. It came with the early bird swimmer. Aye. You'll be a star in the pitches, see? That's annoying. The fuck? I nailed that. There we go. Cold, cold. Gotta go to the bus stop first. We just water the coffee bean. <clears throat> Damn. Fire glow grows fast. And then I'll take the bus over to the bus stop over to Albert. Because I want to get the rock destroyer so I can continue with uh, some of the other little stuff. Mm. Here, everyone needs a hug. Mm. Mm -hmm. Give me a hug. There you go. So I'm thinking we'll get the rock breaker and then we'll call the stream for now. Oh, you got lots of wool. Hmm? 
Yeah. Perfect. Oh, oh, that mill looks impressive. You know what they call one lonely grain of corn in a tree? No guess. Acorn. Uh. Okay. I don't have the money for that. Looks like I'll be holding onto those diamonds then. I need ash, sink, and comet rock. No. We'll hit up South Point, then we'll call the stream. Just so we're in a new area. And then, uh, remember, tomorrow I generally do not stream on the weekends so just as a heads up we 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 It might help if I plant. Let's get more sunflower. Because I have a feeling I'm just going to make a boatload of oil when the, I finally get the crusher. Yeah, I need ash, zinc, and comet raw. Okay. And silic. This, that's the big one. Like, I need silica powder and zinc. Yeah, so... <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so I need 15 zinc at least. How do I make silica again? Sugar in the crusher. That's sunflower oil. Ah, quartz, yeah, it's silica powder is quartz. Couldn't remember. All right, I made it through.
Oh, I literally just didn't make it. Okay, I'll sleep. Then I'll go on the South Point docks. I was, that's how close I was. Morning, morning. Huh? What's up? Uh -huh. Oh, uh. uh -huh. There you go. Uh -huh. Now let's go on to the South Point docks. Looks like there was some stuff to mine, so come on. I can say please be Zinc or Pulsar. One of each, preferably. Help me out over here. There's this guy over there. Don't look at him. Look at me. Yeah, so that guy. He's been giving us a hard time. Making life difficult for us. He's been screwing up our whole operation. I can't get into any details with you. Let's just say it would be great if you could take a permanent vacation. You know, I just need you to take care of them. Got it? Do it nice and quiet. You don't look like much, but I can see it. You got the eyes of a damn killer. Let's see what you can do. What are you doing? Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, okay, relax. Wait a second. Did those two knuckleheads ask you to intimidate me? Stop looking at me like that. And drop the act. I can't be muscled out of this job. I've got mouths to feed. I'm not gonna let two tough guys boss me around. They were so obvious, too. They were asking around for someone to help ship contraband to other islands. That's not gonna fly with me. You can tell them what you want. I don't care. Make something up. I don't know what. Tell me that... That you would eat my goldfish one by one until I broke. Do you like that? I've got others. I'm actually a writer in my spare time. Anyways, as long as I get off the stock and move on. Alright, good. My overtime pay hasn't come in yet. I've been doing double shift for the last two months. This is just poor planning. I know it's hard to get good help. Still, I'm burning out over here. My boss told me to come in early today. That a-hole isn't even here. Probably stuck in traffic. I'll just go get a coffee or something. Damn it. Alright, I'll go talk to... Ooh, that's new. I think. Please be... Zinc! Yes, thank fuck. Oh, don't tease me. Is that Pulsar? Nope. That is marble. 
That's more zinc though. And because my foundry's upgraded. Fuck it. There's a form for every occasion. That's why they call me the form man. It's actually pronounced foreman, but my way is funnier. Lol. Realize you could jump on that. Okay. That's just annoying. Shaking in his boots. What a coward. I could see that I couldn't see from over here. What did you use? Backwards tangerine? The old tightrope shuffle? Doesn't matter. He looks broken. You broke that man, kid. For that you get the privilege of giving us a ride. Let's go to your boat. Oh God. Okay. Dang it. <sighs> what are you looking at? Oh, right. You don't look at him. I do the talking. My brother Mickey is the silent type. If you have a question, you gotta go through me. Capiche? Right. You did a pretty good job bullying that idiot. Easy stuff. My brother doesn't think you've got the chops to run this boat. He might just take it from you. Yeah. Let that sink in. See you around. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually fucking hilarious. and Mickey. Okay. Before I do that, I... I... Where's the foundry? I'm literally going, where did I put my goddamn foundry? There it is.
Oh, wow. That's a fucking nightmare. There's like no room for error. Okay, here we go. I'll make at least 20. There we go. Okay. <sighs> what the heck is that? Pulsar. Ooh, and Comet Rock. Okay. Well, this is a perfect stopping point. Thank you all for joining me. Dear God, Spirit Fair is an adorable game. I really enjoy playing it. And uh, I'm probably going to be off for the next couple days. And, well, like not streaming, but on Monday, I should be jumping back into Yakuza. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another late night edition of Radio Achievements with me, your humble host. And yes, it's another late night edition of Spirit Fair. Because this game is adorable and cute and it sounds weird, but it feel, would feel weird to play it at my normal time slot. So, let's go in. We're just diving right in. I forgot to grab water, so I'm annoyed with myself. Oh. Oh, Francis. Huh? You've made a delicacy. Have some sushi. The others, they'll love it. Thank you. new. Francis says, it's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. Got a new errand just for you. Fresh off the presses. Have a look-see. Uh, uh, no. I'll grab that. What do you got? Okay. Unfortunately, before we continue, I just remembered I need to throw my laundry in the dryer, so please enjoy the calming music.
I was mistaken. I thought I heard it end, but I did not. Okay, uh, first thing I want to do. There was Pulsar Ord. Oh. So we'll go here first. Huh? Who wants to talk to me? Kid. What's up? You gotta show us what you're made of. You gotta. Hmm. You gotta fight some pulsar rays. Yeah. Good idea, Mickey. Who wants to see you get in a fight? There should be some around here. Make it happen. Okay. That was my plan anyway. Oops. I'm gonna get these crates first and then I'll head down, but I don't know if we'll get there tonight. Okay, I'll grab that in just a moment. Oh, ooh, Ash! Yes! If I can get some Pulsar, that is exactly what I need. Then I can go back to, uh, uh, Olga, and I can put her with some, uh, Olga, uh, uh, with some, uh, Pulsar, some Zinc, and some, and some Ash. Wow, my brain just... Died. It's too dark. That's absolutely fine. Actually. As long as I save myself one. Bottom, perfect. Don't know if I'm gonna. S there we go. Yeah, it's ten more zinc. That's really handy. Okay, I need ash planks, but I only have two ash logs. Out. Oh, did I grab? Did I not grab a chair? There we go. All right. <clears throat> what do I need for the crusher again? Okay, I need ash planks and pulsar ink. What do I need? Okay, I'm finding those. I'm gonna add a picture frame soon. I just need to find that ectoplasm. I just don't know where it is. Nice. Okay. And a silica powder to get the next blueprint. And then just a lot of glimpse to make it even bigger. Comment. Huh. Okay, I got eight. Okay, we'll do the pulsar, then we'll might hang around. 
to sleep until morning and then we'll head over to the pulsar race i just never fished at the tuna thing i was curious like can you get special fish from there i would think so okay all right let's head over wakey wakey Yes, you're wondering why I'm getting so many sunflower. It's, it's sunflowers. Wow, my brain just like stopped halfway there. It's so I can uh, crush uh, more stuff and get oil, which I believe I need for. Okay, let's uh, give you some food. You like acquired taste. Oh. oh. Oh, uh, yeah, hug, come here, oh, let's put you in a bit more of a good, hey, I was asking when we are going to get fed already, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, let's go with the fisher and the pie. Free grub, finally. Wooperk <laughs> says mean things. <clears throat> hey, Moon Cannon, how you doing? Are you ready for a real fight? They'll be coming from all directions, so get your head in the game. Don't chicken out. Just charge at them. Don't be a coward. Okay. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, this is actually a unique thing. I like it. I need all the pulsar ore you can give me. Oh, oh, damn it! It curved at the last second, and I missed it. How you doing, Moon? Uh, I'm doing well. I'm just enjoying my a couple of days off. So, you, you sneaky little bastages. There we go. I do, I do like how collecting a lot of things does have its own unique little mini game with it. I'm just happy I'm gonna have to be able to go back and, you know, Pulsar or and everything rolling. How's uh, how's everything been treating you? Uh, I know I've said it a couple times, but like, working on any more uh, Wildlander stuff? What a thrill! Made your butt out there. You know what? Finally found a good nickname for you. So you're getting promoted. You're going from kid to scout. Just been kind of sluggish time, of course. Hard. Now it's other than darkest unrelated commissions currently. Currently, I'm working on a class mod. Nice. Do you like it? Of course you do. Who doesn't like scout? Uh, no one. That's who. That doesn't mean you could slack off. Still under us in the hierarchy of life. Oof. That's Graham, we got things to do. Okay. Right, let me uh, see how many. Because I technically only need like one pulsar ore. Ooh. <clears throat> What's your spit on this class mod? I am I am curious. Too much? No, that's perfect. 
Like, are we talking healer, DPS, tank, damage dealer? Oh. Sorry, I was scratching my eye. Okay. Last mod called Zell that I was commissioned. A Chad Crusader. Okay. I will click on that after I do this just because it is kind of, you know. Uh, and yeah. There we go. Okay. Got 20 pulsar ingots now. Wait. Well, what's up, Mikey? Let's go. What's up? Take a walk with us. What do you see here? Nothing. You got nothing on this boat. Makes Mickey sick. You need to shape up, you hear? Let's build something that will really make a mark on this ship. What is it? Good idea, Mickey. You need a crusher. You need to smash some rocks into oblivion. I'm working on that. Don't worry. Even chump like you can do it. Go. What are you waiting for? Okay, yeah, I. you want a crusher. I know. I'm gonna go here first. Last mod called Zelda. Let me take. Oh, I like that. That looks awesome. There we go. Sorry, was just checking out some art, some uh, artwork by uh, Moon Cannon. Okay. All I need are ash planks. Working on his guild header slash virtue sprite. Ah, nice. Yeah, I don't know where I would get bottled ectoplasm though. <laughs> Alright, let's water these up. Tilly, you're probably hungry. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh. Mm -hmm. I go. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh. Let's go with. I'm sorry. Mm. Ugh. Forgive. Mm -hmm. Yay. Let me grab those. Oh, beet. And some sugar cane. Hey. Can get one round of fishing in before we're there. Uh, 
and from what I've seen, all I need is just, you know, plant the two ash logs in uh, their back. Uh, hey Myers, how you doing? Welcome in, hope you're doing well. Yeah, you, uh, when you uh, raided me the, the other day, it you had just finished it, correct? Well, you'll be happy to know, I got the rock breaker and I just acquired uh, Bruce, Brucey and Mickey. And we're working on getting the crusher. I just need some ash planks. I actually need a lot of ash planks. Because, because I've got the upgraded foundry, I'm, I was able to uh, like get a lot of Oh, can you not plant pulsar ore in their back? Yeah. And then while I wait, I'm gonna... Yeah. <laughs> Traveling to sea for eight people leave the ocean and are in dire need of financial. You know, people have no savings. If you side with us, you should earn more than your imagination could muster. You play the market of logs and ore. In no time, your investment will be doubled, even tripled. Just jump on my back. Invest in our sailing enterprise. Uh, yeah. I got uh, two lo two uh, ones in there and a thing of zinc. So while she... What is the uh, gestation time, basically? of uh the sisters i didn't really time it out is it like a s like okay uh i'm actually gonna go comet i need comet rock i remember that but basically yeah i'm gonna go get comet rocks come back and There we go. But yeah, I'm thinking. Okay, everyone's fed, everyone's hugged. I don't have any logs to. Oh, I should probably be cooking some stuff. Some flour. Uh. Let's go with some oysters. Yes, you do need to start streaming. You need to do your art. Like, uh... Oh, and, uh... This is just a heads up, because it's 19 days away, but once uh, Darkest Dungeon 2 comes out in early access on Epic, that will be the main game I am playing. I love Darkest Dungeon. Like, I love... You know, I think Red Hook's an amazing company. And, you know, it's like, I know people are upset that it's, you know, Epic exclusive, but I'm also looking at it from the point of, you know, Darkest Dungeon was so successful for them. I don't know anything about it. I am literally keeping myself blind for Darkest Dungeon. For Darkest Dungeon 2. And here's the reason why I'm also willing to buy an early access. Because Darkest Dungeon was the epitome of early access like done right it's exclusive for only early access yep and i will i am gonna jump on that like oh i have some corn i'm sorry oh geez i fed you some corn and you went sprout 
but I, I have to look at this from also a streaming point of view. Darkest Dungeon is like one of my go-tos. Like Black Reliquary is amazing. There's so much community support around it. Why are you stopping here? And yeah, like if uh, Red Hook's gonna make some money, like, do it to it. Yeah. Well, uh, if you're interested in Darkest Dungeon, there has been a mod recently that uh, was released called uh, the Black Reliquary, which is made by an amazing group of people, which is literally a complete overhaul of the Darkest of Darkest Dungeon. I find another stream playing the same game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm like what's uh, what's you know titled as a variety caster, just because you know it's e like I'm the type of person who I can't really commit. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh yeah, black. It is a point one, I believe. Zero point one. I play anything and everything based on my mood. I like to have what I call a baseline game. Like have a game that is there as the main line. Like currently, it is the Yakuza series. Hey, shellfish up in here. Grab that, oh, and then I guess I should ring the bell and wake everyone up, eh? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I'm getting comet rocks. Oops. I'll be up there to catch them. Uh. Here we go. I was like, who, who gives me this? Fabulous. I can't believe it. Uh, in terms of heart wrenching or just adorableness? That's marvelous. Peanut, open your eyes real big. This is a comet shower. Doesn't it look absolutely gorgeous? And it's only mildly adorableness. Alice. Alice was my favorite. Of course, you could lose a limited wound. What is a wound in the face of such splendor? What is physical pain when you can have this thrill of your life? In addition, you might even get some comet rocks out of this. Isn't this miraculous? So what do you say, Bambina? Don't worry, I'll watch you just a bit further away. One can't be too careful, right? Haha, <laughs> have fun. I kicked him off my boat. I didn't know you could. It's literally fireworks. I need comet rocks. Come on, work with me. Is for comet rocks, is you have to be there within like a certain time? Come on. Or is it just literally luck of the draw? I will read what you typed in just a second. I'm just trying to get all the comet rocks I can. We'll say if nothing else, it's, you know. Uh, I kicked them off my travel spirits, got their fav 
before they left to the Everdoor. But I sent Giovanni. Well, well. You did great, Peanut. I know it sounds silly, but I've always loved a tricky situation. The lights, the sounds, the thrill. Mm -hmm. Gotta admit, it is pretty cool, isn't it? Running around not knowing if you'll still be breathing the next minute? <laughs> That's the spirit, Bambina. Mm -hmm. I knew you had it in you. You're a natural. I love you so much I could eat you up. Mm -hmm. Now run along, little rascal. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, hey, what's up? I believe we have unfinished business. I've been aching for something warm and comforting. We die for a cup of noodle soup. I know, I know. It's indeed my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Just a thought, sweetheart. Okay, noodle soup. I don't have any noodles, though. I think I've got some wheat going, but I think I need... Okay, let me just gather all these up. I had sugar cane, that's wheat. Plant some tea. Wait, like, for my favorite character, it has to be Uncle Little. He reminds me of my IRL uncle who passed away a few years ago. Okay. And by now, yeah, she's done. I need smash. Like, uh, my uncle was like that big jolly dude who was like love food, loved his family kind of thing. So yeah, my, my favorite is Uncle Little. But in terms of ador adorableness, Alice just Alice just tugged at my heartstrings. The, the old sad granny. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, I got some food for you. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah, he loves stimulants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I found something you might like. Thank you. Okay, if we stop by Francis, I can sell some more stuff. Let me just check my build. Uh, oh, I need, yeah, I need ash planks and wool fabric. And yeah, I think I should have enough ash. Well, it's a little old lady's room. See ya, Francis. Yeah, we're just scooting on by. That stopped growing. What the? Ooh, thank you. Okay, I've got 20 thing. Okay. Two diamonds. It, oh yeah, not spoiler, but once uh, summer is gone, is there any point in holding on to the gems once uh, you've completed Susan's collection? Like, I think I think I want to keep hold on to two diamonds because it is for an upgrade for the ship, if I recall. I think I saw it in uh, Albert's thing. I think I might. Okay, we got an eel. Yeah. Okay. It just, it, I'm literally one of those people, it's like, you never know. And, uh, okay, you would might know this. Are the tuna spots, are those for rare fish? Is it like for like a specific cooking thing or is it like for uh, Susan's collection? So you can like fill it out.
Like, because I've seen the tuna spots, but I never fished in them. Come on, jeez. I'm the same way. Oh, perfect. Okay, you should be good to go. Bust that out, Uncle Atoll. Hi. <laughs> then it feels just like, nope, 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 nope. If nothing else, I want to keep at least, depending on how many. Okay, that's eight. That's actually really good. So if that, I can get like 16 or so. I'll plant a couple and make a, the others into planks. Okay, so that's 16 in total. Okay. Okay, you can't do Pulsar Ore. So I'm gonna do a round of pure ash. Then that should have me good for a while. Ah! Okay. Uh, yeah, we're good. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> see you, Daffodil. <laughs> I love how he has to pull his ear to turn him. That's actually bossing you around reminds of being bossed around back in the days. I know. Me. If you can believe it. Reminds me of my last job. My brother doesn't like me mentioning it too often. We're enforcers for Mr. Car Carmi Carmino. Any orders, we would do them. Nothing was too small a request. We were efficient. We would always get the job done. No one could stop us. Not even the feds. If you play cards right, you might even be on our level pretty soon. Give you some food. Want some fruit? Hey, so let me tell you something. This shit is just too simple. One damn ingredient? Who do you think we are? Dumb peasants? Goddamn low lives? My brother here has standards. I won't accept this crap. Okay, okay, so no. S okay, so like nothing small. You know what? <laughs> Cherry pie. Free grub, fine. Come here. Now. Alright, alright. Don't tell anyone. Oh, he really likes the music. Yeah. Okay. Before we go anywhere, I'm gonna hop in here. We'll do ten. Hell yes. Okay, the three. I think actually, after I do all these logs, I'll have enough for the crusher and all the upgrades. Mother. So, I don't know if I'll have enough to buy the next ship upgrade in terms of sheer size. Oh. Now, ah, okay, I screwed up on that one bad. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Crusher. Okay, I've got 29 ash planks. Okay, the crusher is gonna go right here. I need wolf fabric for the chicken coop. 
And I can actually make wool fabric pretty quick. And then I'll have a chicken coop. Let's talk to you quick. That's beautiful. Mikey can already hear the smashing sounds coming from inside. I'm sure she's a beaut. Try crushing some. Make you feel good. Let some of that rage out. What? I'm not gonna ex gonna going to I'm not going to explain it. Child can do this. Make the machine go smash. It's a piece of cake. It's a few rocks to get you started. Let it roar. I'll wait here and listen for the sound of crushing. Okay. Uh what Crush that rock like there was no tomorrow. I need to be I need to be the wicked. I don't want to wait two more days for your next RPG session. Oh, what are you playing uh Oh god. Uh five E are you doing like a custom campaign? Crush that rock like there was no tomorrow. I could hear it beg for mercy. That was pretty amazing. That felt good. You got some chops, Scout. I know you'll be able to do this next job. Look. Mikey needs a house. Mickey. Not just any house. He needs a goddamn palace. Marble, gold mirrors, indoor palm trees. A whole nine yards. Something that would make our neighbors back home furious. Get it done. Bruce and Mickey's crib. Okay, uh. Let me just go check that. Yeah! Oh, hey, what's up? I, I uh I had the pleasure not to put Jared. Oh hey. Eighty five one sixty five, okay. I gotta remember. Okay, um, I need some more silica powder. So I'm gonna do another round of the angry smashies. Is there a rhythm to this or is it just literally mash? Oh yeah, sugar. Get some of that. We're playing mutants and masterminds. It's super frantic. Use for literally anything for the world and in 2012. Zombie apocalypse. Okay, got some sunflower oil. I'm just getting a bit of everything. Sugar in the raw. Okay. I'm not I don't want to crush any comet rocks yet because I'm not sure what I'll need them for. And if I recall Wait, oil. Chicken. <gasps> I can make fried chicken!
Mutants and Mastermind. So that... I always like hearing about different, uh, like, systems. About to fight a zombie T-Rex. I will read that as soon as I finish this. Because I just need a bunch of wool fabric. I have about to find a zombie T-Rex while another special infected I basically grabbed a bunch of dead bodies to a T-Rex skeleton to resurrect as a macabre, macabre art piece. Damn. In the words of many a person, that's kind of fucked up. I wonder if I got enough money for like, okay, th that's actually a chicken coop. Build. What do what is it? I have everything I need. Good God. Okay, I have everything I need, but goddamn, guys. Okay. Need to move this. Here, the crusher there. That finally enough room? Jesus. There you go. Alright, let's get some sleep to summarize the campaign. Three main player could wound up being directed into meeting each other with a very vivid vision. This campaign is part of a big multiverse setup where a bunch of worlds are dying from different campaigns. The higher entity is stepping in after the meeting. So they came into the group of trying to help people as we pass through while maintaining our cover. Let's see. In a minute. All right, all the ash logs I need. That sounds like a crazy campaign, but you know, is this uh, an IRL thing or is this a? Uh... Or is this uh, on like Roll Twenty or Astral or uh, Fantasy Grounds? Yeah. We're recently finally outed ourselves trying to save some people. Okay. Oh, it's roll twenty. Nice.
Yeah. Are you all done there? Yep. All right. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Have a hug. Have a hug. Okay. Food, and this should be Uncle Atoll's fried chicken. Hey! Uncle Atoll! Oh, wait. Where are you? Come here, I need to give you something. Yeah, well, speaking of which... Fried chicken! Hey, gentlemen! Uh, three so far. This always makes me think of my dad. He loved preparing food. He was an absolute genius in the kitchen. Also, welcome in, uh, Jello. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> His meals would always turn out perfectly. But while he was making them, he was angry. He couldn't take his focus away from making food. It's like he was trying to tame the kitchen or something. It was a fight to the death. He would always win. The meal could take him hours to prepare just right. It took him so long. I remember being a kid and and when it was ready, I didn't care what food was in front of me. It could have been cereal for all I cared. I just hated watching him make food back then. <clears throat> Waiting for hours for a meal I didn't care about. But every time I eat this, it doesn't seem that bad anymore. Well, thanks, Sprout. Describe me in Smasher. There's rules, but there are no real ways. You have a PowerPoint limit based on your level and a massive list of power rolls and effects that you can mix together in flavor as you see fit. Like there's a generic range attack that you can attack to a bunch of improvements, draw back. And it could be a gun, a magic spell, maybe throwing stuff. Ah, uh, so it's a lot of in the eye of the beholder, so to speak. Like, flavor it how you want, kind of thing. Jeez. This is what I'm talking about. You don't mess around. I need to give you a proper nickname. Mickey, what do you think? Right? I don't like that. That's already taken. Phantom Terror? That's no good. Give him a minute. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, that, that sounds... A lot more open-ended sounds. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's glad those sheets. Uh, but I'm actually I'm gonna drop down here. You don't worry about class race or equipment. You make the character you want to make, and it'll play well regardless. Party calm. Focus on telling a story. Are you hungry? I know a great place to eat. It's called the desert. It's famous for its sand, which I'm sure you'll like. Boo. Oh. Okay, let's see. How, okay, we've got 19k, so this cost me 28. And this is 16. Okay. I've almost enough. But for now, let's grab. Uh, actually, I'll be back in just a sec. I need to. I just realized I need to make some more ash planks. Okay. 
actually a part sketch of your character. Oh, please, please share. I, Moon, Moon, you're an awesome artist, so I always love seeing what you've created. Check that out as soon as, you know, as soon as possible. There we go. Oh, I'm, I'm getting like a undead Dismas vibe from that. And that, no, that's, and that's a good thing. I'll just like, oh, yeah. That looks awesome. And I have a question. Wait, what the hell is that? Always gotta keep the ship clean. Cabana is just to hide the, that pretty smile in settlements. Makes sense, makes sense. But he's so pretty, why would you wanna hide that gorgeous smile? Let's see, is Francis nearby? Oh yes, perfect. So I sell a couple things and then I can get all three upgrades. Boof. Uh, okay, and uh, hey, uh, Myers, if you're still here, the smithy is what I need to make the sheets, right? Like the bronze sheets, etc., etc. It's not a spoiler. If, if you're still around. You know the X-Men character Mero, the one who bones fine? Uh, sounds familiar. Sell. Sell base. Cornbread, fish sticks, fried rice. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. A bulk of visibility is similar to that accelerated calcium production. Oh, uh, oh, that's terrifying, but awesome. Oh, shit. Now I just need bottled ectoplasm. There you go. I just need a clear glass sheet. Okay. And I have a feeling the smithy is how I'm going to be making that stuff. Oh, 
Oh, uh, by the way, uh, since there is some streaming, did you all make sure to en enable uh, two-factor authentication and change your passwords? You've got a beautiful orchard full of apples. You don't know what lives and reads inside, don't you? Bookworms! Okay. First things first. There we go. Okay, that is all the blueprints. And... Okay, we're getting into more spirit flowers. Okay. And now we've got more room. Another one of, uh, became malleable to the point of being able to shapeshift, not also to shift the tone of the body to camouflage. Another is essentially the Hulk where it gets really big and smashed. The other we're respecting is an actual zombie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you said you said like shapeshifter all that so i was like that almost sounds okay build Let's see what we can <laughs> i need a bovine license that is amazing okay i need bottled plasma i need silica powder and comet powder I can do the bulk of that. But actually, first things first. Edit. We got more room now. Okay. You I feel sad for putting them up there, but I also like logistically I know. There we go. Yeah, I need literally a license to cow. Do I need the blacksmith? You know, and... Uh, okay. Well... While we're waiting.
gotta head back over there, get some more ash planks. Wait, what am I doing? I still have a bunch of ash planks. I could just. First, there's no eggs. I'll finish this up and then we'll head over to uh, the new area and we'll finally start working on that stuff because now we got to start thinking about s s uh, silver and silk. because I'm so excited. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that, man. You're, if you're hyped about something and you know, you're just like, oh my God, I'm like, I can't wait. Okay. Oh, okay, I need two more silica powder. Five comet powder. I'll do that. So I need two more quartz. Okay. And a, yeah, exactly. Then you're fucking. I believe the term would be, you are rocking and or rolling. Right, let's get some sleep. So I need to pop a quartz in there. Ow. I'm one quartz shy though, that's annoying. Stop it. Them. <laughs> Time has become my truest enemy through these last few weeks. Oh no. Time, how dare you. cherries. Mm -hmm. Come on, Daffodil. I keep wanting to call them dandelion, but it's And fall. 
can I put Comet in here? I remember I do need to put a Quartz in here. Because I'm just like too shy. Let's finally... I do need to go to Oxbury. Perfect. All right, best session we got loaded with bomb vest due to the obvious suspicious of being dead. Barely escaped the worst horde we've ever encountered. Man of the main enemies in the campaign world. A collection of Frankenstein zombie monsters and a T-Rex. And before that, one of the people who found out about us tried to alert one of the towns we freaking to who we were and we had to talk them down. Oh jeez. Okay, so that's good. We need bottled ectoplasm. We haven't come across that yet. We've already got a crusher. I have everything. I just don't have a bovine license. Yeah, I need bottled ectoplasm is my next big one. Oh, uh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, you like acquired taste stuff. <sighs> Bottled ectoplasm. <laughs> it's the undead version of a fleshlight. I'm. <laughs> Sorry, just I just realized I needed to update the title. Because we are technically on day four of playing Spirit Fair. Huh? Hey, what's up? Fixing a problem you create. Give us a house, which is nice and all. However, it's empty. Got nothing. Need to add some pizzazz to it. Mickey has always had a certain lavish, lavish lifestyle. However, I can't tell you what he wants. You just have to figure that out. We're not interior designers. Word of advice, Scout. Just get whatever is expensive and loud. Okay. I will do that, but I just need some. Okay. That's cool. Mulberry seed, wow. Ooh, and a ring. I found something you might like, perhaps here's a gift from my collection. I hope you appreciate the value of such added oddities. 
Oh, patat. It's a potato. Wheat. Wheat. Coffee. And we could probably use a few more comet rocks, so. Giovanni uh, pops up. It's like, oh, you want to do it? It's like, yes. Hey. hey. How did you like it last time? Ready to have some more? Yes. This is also a nice little fucking money run. Hey! Keep it up. Okay, we're doing a lot better on the Comet Rocks this time. I think it might be like how quickly you're actually able to pick them up. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about like the, f you know, three or four grand I'm making. Excellent. Then we gotta go to Oxbury. Reminds me of... Come here. Hmm? Look at it. Just look at a Bambina. It's so adorable. We had chicks like this on my parents' farm, you know. I would give them all a name. <laughs> but after a day or two, I would forget all of them. So I just called this one Dennis. Hi, Dennis. You're the best little rapscallion you can be. Oh, wait, he's chicken. Neat. Oxbury discovered. I will go in there in just a moment. Because I want to check the chicken. Well, actually, I forget what I put in there. Green salad. Yeah, a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think I need to pick up roses here. Hmm? We're the dice boys. And when we roll, we roll hard. Hard! Mm. Nothing. Never heard of the dice boys? That doesn't make any sense. We've been out here grinding and dicing for years. Spreading the word. Expanding the brand. I don't think you heard the name right. It's the Dice Boys. Don't get it twisted. Twisted! We've been out here on these streets day and night. Rapping. Saying rhymes into the mic to make sure it chimes. Breaking the neck like we in big tech. Nada? Wow. Must be out of it then. 
Listen, to redeem yourself from that pitiful lack of culture, you can do us a solid. Here are copies of our, of our new record. Warning, sacred dog. You just need to go and deliver them to our street team members. Don't worry, it shouldn't be that long. Here, write this down so you won't forget. The dice never stops, and that's why the price never drops. Get out of here, and sling those records. Producing the means for your boy, Cheese. Beautiful day, isn't it? Maybe I'll stay out night and day. It had nothing to do with me losing my apartment. I just like living on the streets. Not living on the streets, per se. More like I like spending time on the street. The city. What a place. Don't come close to me. I have a rare disease where I hate people when people talk to me. I myself love talking. I sometimes make up words. Like Burkani. Like Watasito. Like Frog Frog. Last one was just the word frog said twice in a row. You get it. I have a wild imagination. You can't stop me. What? Can you give me a hand, neighbor? I seem to have lost my keys again. They can't be that far. If I don't find them quickly, my ice cream will melt. Then we'll have quite the mess. Oh, where are those keys? Look. Look at you. You're not even helping. Well... You did listen to me ramble on. That's something, sweet pea. You look like you've seen a ghost. Are you okay? That's too bad. I really wanted to take care of you. That's what neighbors are for, dear. I'd invite you inside, but no keys means no couch. That couch is so comfortable. The pillows are just perfectly lived in. More like stepped on, really. I remember Henry and Sarah jumping up and down on that thing. Once at our old house, Henry fell and hit his head on that glass table. He was screaming at the top of his lung. There was blood everywhere. On the drive to the hospital, he asked if he was going to die. I couldn't help it. I just started laughing. No pumpkin. It's going to be fine. Wish I still lived in that house. I had to sell it when David passed away. Plus, the kids were all living out of town by then. It was too big for little old me. And that lawn. I didn't want to break a sweat every Sunday afternoon mowing the grass. That house... Did you know we had it designed by a professional architect? He was quite the sharp dresser. Always dressed in black with a slick looking mustache. Had a bit of a friendly crush on him. I know, I know. I'm sure if I ran into him, he wouldn't recognize me. Maybe he would. Feels like a fucked up. <laughs> he did mention he had a photographic memory. You know what? Maybe I should ring him up. Say something like, Dear Anthony, I would very much like to have the original plans for my old house. I lost them in a recent move and would like to have a copy. Could I come over and pick them up? Wait a minute. Even better, you should go see him. See if he's still as gorgeous as in my dreams. If you come back with bad news, that'll save me a trip. His office was somewhere in Hummingburg. I don't know the address. You remember, I lost my purse with my address book and my mother's brooch. Oh, I don't want to think about it. That brooch was all she talked about. Well, don't just stand there. Go ask around in Hummingbird. That smile of yours, there's no stopping you. Wow. Ah. Hi there. Did this day get any longer? No, that's just impossible. See you around. Hi. Do you like lemonade? Of course you do. It's sweet, refreshing, and healthy. Also freshly squeezed. Pure lemons, pure lemonade, goodness. That brings me to my proposition. Are you interested in a summer job of sorts? Hear me out. For this business drive, we need more lemons. The demand in this city is just too high. There's this delivery man in South Point Docks. He's got my shipment of lemons. So fresh. You can hear the freshness from here. Problem is, the shipment has been stopped by customs. You can go there and take them for me. Well, you'd be a lifesaver. Literally. Hurry, we need to 
meet this demand. I just love lemons so much. Ride the lemon dragon. Oh, shit. On my way to a happier day. See you. every door in Oxbor. <laughs> Shh. I'm waiting for a signal. Buck should be ready soon. I can feel it. Today I think I'll buy some corn for dessert. Why not? I'm feeling out of control. Oh. I need two ovals. Do not quite have the money for that. So I gotta go back to Hummingburg. Oh, hello, there would be having something. You're looking for someone, a famous woodworker. Of course, you're talking about my boyfriend. Should I say my ex-boyfriend? Kicked him out of the house. Call it a disagreement. We haven't talked in a while, so I'm not sure where he could be. Knowing him is probably just hanging around in a park somewhere. I know he has a favorite spot somewhere in Ambertown. Never much of a doer. Okay. Okay, Hummingbird. Well, I need to head over and 
the build the smithy anyway. Oh jeez. And if that put has silk fibers, I actually need to get rid of I'll get rid of the cherry tree. Hey, Koken! How's it going? Uh, is there a way to... There Tubers. Yay! Potatoes. How you doing, Koken? I gotta go over here, I gotta sell some stuff. Then I gotta go get the quartz so I can make the smithy. Your face has not woken up yet? Hey face, wake up! If I can get the thing Roxbury that actually... Sell. Wait, that actually gives me enough. I'm just gonna sell two of those. Any errand? I hope I need those. I'll take that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna head over there. Get the quartz, crush it. Build. <sighs> Build the smithy. Ah, I should have put on safe. What's your plans for the day, Koken? Working? Chilling? Oh. Yeah, go get your morning routine done. Thank you for dropping in. Ooh, King Sam. Log into No Man's Sky and send the frigates on a mission. Log into World Tank to do the daily event. Cattle fish. Whoa. You're a fighty bastard. Whoa. Okay. And then I'm ready to get into New World. Awesome. Honestly, everything I've seen about New World looks like it's a solid, solid game. Oh. Nope. Oh, no, you don't. Come on. Jesus, come on. 
Are you, Jesus. Are you in the late shift company with uh, LZT? Bina, these jewels for you, Bambina. No, no need to explain how. <laughs> Take them. It's different enough from my To be kind of fresh, stuff actually works mostly. Yeah. Ain't that the truth? Hang on, there's just something I have to look up quick. Okay. I have a minor step, but nothing major. Okay. Uh, unfortunate. Build. Orchard. I got the orchard. No, I don't even have it. In case you're wondering why I did that, it's because I. Hey, thank you. Okay. Old berry. In case you're wondering why I'm planting that, it's so I can specifically get silk. Hearing Uncle Toll in the background. Have some wheat. Oh wait. This sounds really weird, but wheat and flour wood. Make bread, right? There we go, that's the quartz I need for the smithy. All done. All right, let's build that smithy. Oh, no, I need two things in the crusher. Now I need lint. Now for the last thing. 
that's what I need. Ten linen fabric and ten bottled ectoplasm. Grandiose? Yes, I know. As uncouth as it would be for me to pose as a true specialist, I can assure you this machine you built is perfect. Be proud of yourself, Skipper. Now you can grab the most elaborate materials with the greatest ease. Art can finally move forward. There are, of course, technicalities involved. As I said, I'm far from being a skilled blacksmith myself. All I can tell you, Skipper, is that it's most probably rather straightforward. My understanding is that each material has its own specific heating and hammer shaping property. Some will require constant small hammer hits, some will have you whack on it with the highest strength you can muster. Watching how hot your hammer becomes will be a crucial, obs cru crucial observation skill. But enough blathering. Go at it. I'll watch you from a safe distance right over here. Lots of little ones. Hey, okay. That was impressive. Skipper, you really did well for a neophyte. Some will require the sacrifice of a loved one. You must notice that if your hammer runs too hot, letting it cool down without hitting the materials is of paramount importance. It's a game of patience, precision, and vigor. Different materials will behave differently. Of this, you can be certain. Get it with anticipation. Yep. Vast array of pine elements will be needed to build all I have in mind. Well, I need to go over to the crusher for a second. Yes. Just checking on the orchard. I need a clear glass sheet. Because that will make the TV for Astrid. Oh, jeez. Excellent. Okay, glass. You know, I'm just gonna improve that right now. Oh, it's fun. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just gonna have this. Yay! Two clear glass sheets, two crystal. There we 
Thank you. Finally make some sheets. Now I just need to figure out how to get bottled ectoplasm. And then we'll be laughing. I was like, why is it? Oh, oh, oh yeah, rah. Carbon powder. I know. Oh, I know how to get carbon powder. I have to crush a bunch of fucking coal. but I don't need her right now. I think I need a couple brass sheets. Probably gonna work through the night on this one. Get some 
steel sheets, and then I'll make a couple brass and a couple bronze. This is like the Okay And then we'll do two bronze and that should be enough at least for some improvements. There we go. Go. So I need two clear glass sheets. Sprout. Oh, Scout. Hey. What's up? Me and my brother were practical people. We ask something and you deliver it. Simple. But there's something we shouldn't even have to ask for. You know what that is? Food. People eat. Usually like thrice a day. can leave this boat and go to the deli. Now it might seem like I'm pissed off here. That's because I am. You don't feed me, sure. Okay, but my brother. That just doesn't fly, Scout. Go and get this goddamn lobster roll. Ambertown Park. I literally have exactly what I need. Okay. 
There we go. All right, take it easy, Moon. Thanks for dropping by. Always good to see you. Let's head down to Amberton Park. Oh yeah. They should be right over there in the park. They grow in the corner. Can't miss them. They're gorgeous, Bambina. Gardener here takes really good care of the flowers. That's good for us. What? What do you mean we shouldn't? Mm -hmm. Vandalism? What do you mean vandalism? Bambina, mm -hmm. what are you talking about? Roses exist so that they can be picked up and offered to mesmerizing princesses. Mm -hmm. Don't you think she deserves it? Don't you? Okay, enough with this nonsense. Let's just go into the park and pick up the roses. Look, we only need enough for a romantic bouquet. You can be as delicate as you want when picking them up. All right, go now. Go. Before I do anything, I'm just... Oh, blueberries. My daughter had a birthday party here last year. I wasn't invited. We don't get along. For years now. Her mother told me about it. I stood in my car. Watching. Listening to them laugh. It was a nice party. These trees are my life. These are, these are living things. They have lives, dreams, aspirations. You can't cut them down. I'll make sure you pay for this. You murderer. No, I'm not doing anything. I just... Oh, wait. I don't know you. What is it? A woodworker, you say? Why, yes, of course you were looking for me. Just, huh? Taking a stroll? Yes, enjoying nature. Refueling my creative battery, so to speak. So you're looking for my genius, I presume. What is it that you need? Oh. A working desk? Oh yes, fantastic. Sure, I can do that. Oh, okay. This is your chance. Don't mess it up. Just breathe. So, um, yes, about that. Oh. My creative batteries are full. Sure. But all this nature I was walking in this are contemplating. Well, it depleted my physical battery. Oh. That's before I can even start thinking about your commission. Well, I'll need some food. You know, mind and body and all that. Oh. Well, for an artist of my caliber... Not just anything will do. I need you to bring me an exquisite, uh, surf and turf. Yes, that'll do. Oh no, why did I pick such an expensive meal? What she thinks I'm not worth it? Should I change my mind? No, no, too late now. I'm just so sick of eating blueberries. Well, what are you waiting for? Give me a surf and turf or anything else, please. I'm starving. We'll talk about that commission. No. Come closer to the masses. All part of my creative process. A good hearty casserole will be enough for today. Mm -hmm. Ready, bro? Not even that. You, you gotta get me something to eat. Anything? 
Even a grilled fish would be okay. Hmm. Don't I have any grilled fish? I'm trying to leave. Hmm. Fuck's sakes. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's just perfect, Bambino. What a nice bouquet. Your thumb is as green as your hat, says someone once said. Mm -hmm. And you see, no one cared. No one noticed. Wasn't necessary to make a big deal out of it. How was it? Just give them to me. Take great care of them. Thank you so much. Be not, I'll hold on to this bouquet. All right, let's head back to the boat. Now you're hungry. I'll give you a thing of tea. Come here, have a hug. I gotta go, I gotta make some grilled fish. Wait, do I have any lobster? Go talk quick. Stella! Haha! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bambina. No, I definitely have enough to prepare a little surprise. Oh, my beloved will jump for joy. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're a killer. You know that, right? No pun intended. Left you now's way for the right time. Put on the right cologne. And voila! It's gonna be wonderful. Oh, but Bambina, this reminds me. I have this shiny thing. I should have given it to you earlier, but I was lost in my thoughts. That's why I kind of had forgotten about it. Take it. You definitely deserve it. And I don't have the slightest clue what it does. Hey. Munchkin. Something. Something is wrong. I can feel it in my bone. Listen, just to make sure. Did you check around the boat for my husband, especially at night? Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Thanks, Stella. Okay. Well, I'm going to head down because I've got the grow fish for the dude. Still haven't discussed. Hmm. Absolutely non negotiable. 40. <laughs> For an artist, my talent will be blasphemous to ask her anything left. Hmm. And then we'll be close again. See how just as well I can do on my own. You know, I'm not just a lazy slob and you'll fall in love with me all over again. I can't believe my plan is going so well, unless. And, er, uh, it's one thing, but of the utmost importance. Hmm. I have a strict rule against my professional and romantic life. So under no circumstances should you tell my partner in Oxbury about our dealing. You understand? No. Circumstances. <laughs> I'm not paying you that. That is... In a word, fuck you. I'm going right to fucking Oxbury. <laughs> hey. 
Okay, cool. Ooh, silver. Well, that Oxbury? Yeah. So, we're gonna hit the silver dragon up first because I actually need silver ore. I'm not going to plant a, I don't need any apples or cherries. That's beef and oil. Should give me like, I think that should be a pork chop. Silver dragon. Come on. Do that, then we'll hit up the crates on the way. Oh, hi there. Bud, you all right? Okay. Let's go check on that. Be fun, do. Grab this and then we'll go see if we can find Giovanni. Okay. 
Now I have to swap my laundry. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> or I need those silk fibers. <laughs> While we're waiting, I guess I can Head over to here and
Mm -hmm. There we go. Talk to you in just a moment. I just there we go. Okay, it's twenty silver ingots. All right, got to talk to you. Where was he? Where was that dirtbag last night? Clearly they didn't sleep in his bed. Stella, this is exactly as I feared. I knew it was not only in my imagination. Something was wrong. Also a letter came for him. I didn't want to open it. Here, you read it. Please, go. Go investigate him for me. Follow him around. Thank you so much, Stella. Letter from- Oh, motherfucker. Giovanni, my dear, I oh, Ooh, boy, hey, I have a berry. Oh, you're hungry. Let me give you some. Ooh. Everyone feels bullied by Mikey. Mickey. Okay, simple shit won't cut it. There we go. Come here, have a hug. Okay. So we'll start. We'll hit up the crate, then we'll hit up Oxbury. Perfect. Oh, Astrid's actually probably pretty hungry. Let's see, what else do I need for improvements? Okay, for you. I need silk fabric and two clear glass sheets. For you, you haven't told me yet. Thank you. Oh shit, is it ready to go? Nope, not quite. We're almost there. Did I grab another? Good, got another mulberry seed. I believe I have to head over to Oxbury. Yeah, and then Hummingburg. Next time I go to... Oh, I, I think I have enough for the Oxbury uh, key. 
And I don't believe I have silk. Food, uh... No. Let's keep it going. Okay, upgrades. Oh, I need silver ore. Spirit flowers. So I need to send off three people. Oh boy. Well, at least we can buy the key for Oxbury. Hug. I got to go talk to the person in the cafe. Oh shit. Giovanni. I'll talk to you after. I'll talk to the person. Him yet? What? What? Forty-five, four hundred fifty thousand glims. Wait, but what do you know? They charge. Did you even get that number? Oh, I understand now. The apartment next to mine is currently on the market. The asking price is forty-five, uh, four hundred fifty thousand glims, non-negotiable. Very subtle, man. Also very creepy. You know what? I just can't let him fend for himself. He's so helpless. It's only been three days, and he's already started conning innocent bystanders. Besides, I was already planning to let him move back in. I wanted to teach him a lesson. Just tell me he can come back, okay? But make sure he understands. From now, he ha from now on, he has to do some chores. And do everything for mom. I'm not his mom. Oh, Giovanni. Give me that. Nah, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Leave us alone. Be getting busy soon. Really? What are you doing in my house? Leave, please. Oh. Major, Major, the plumber is here. Wait a second. You don't have a mustache. You're not the plumber. Out. Oh. oh, I need one more.
There we go. Alright. Thousand, go to hell. Get some sleep. Talk to Astrid. enough. Thought I was stronger than that, but obviously I was wrong. Can't, tol can't tolerate that any longer. He's driving me up the wall. He's following me everywhere. Talks and talks and talks. Mm -hmm. And I know he lies. All the time. Everything he says is a blatant lie. What did you find out there? Was he cheating on me? Tell me. Uh, I gotta be honest. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew it. Thank you for telling me the truth, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. I knew I could count on you. It warms my heart to know that I can trust in someone. Now please, mm -hmm. you know what to do. I don't want to see his face anymore. He's out. Mm -hmm. Out of my house. Out of my hair. A true. Oh. Oh boy, you is fucked. Oi. I'll give you some to eat first. I, oh, I don't get it. We're going so well. I don't deserve to be treated this way. Your Astrid, she's got such an ill temper. What will I do now? I'll go, I suppose. But where? Over there by Atoll's workshop? Nope, too chilly. Up to Alice's cottage, cottage maybe? Nah, that won't cut it. All right, I'll think about it. See you around, Bambina. Yeah, wait until Astrid's ready to talk. Ooh. Morning. Morning. Silk fiber. Hell to the yes. Okay. Ah. Mm 
All right, Astrid. I'll talk to you in just a second. I don't know why, but it hurts to see him go. I didn't think it would, but here we are. Anyway, it was the right thing to do. Thank you for your help, Stella. Mm -hmm. Now I... I need some time. I need to be alone and by myself for a little while, I think. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Munchkin. Thank you for being here by my side. go there and then we'll save and then I think we'll call the stream for today sorry this isn't like one of my longer streams on my on my days off I feel like we did get a lot of advancement though I need clear heated so okay what do I need for clear glass again? two clear glass I need silk okay you did hit up uh must have noticed it by now. I'm not exactly welcome at Astrid's house anymore. Hey, what can I say? It's not my fault that I'm irresistible. I was born this way. Mm -hmm. Ladies like me, what can I do? Leave them alone? That would be terribly rude of me. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. You don't need to give me that look. I get it, you know. Mm -hmm. I probably would have done the same. Okay, maybe not exactly the same, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? Her loss. I wouldn't come crawling. Mm -hmm. I'm above this type of behavior. That being said, mm -hmm. the deck is a bit frisky at night, though. And I miss ha ha having at least a sofa to rest on. To do. Mm -hmm. Think, Giovanni, think. Hmm, maybe. Hey, Bambina? I ask you a favor. Just a teensy weensy little thing for your favorite Giovanni. Mm -hmm. I need a place to rest now. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. Nice lounge would be swell. Yes, a lounge. 
A funky space at the crossroads between a bar and a den. A place where we could all unwind, have a fun time, you know? And I could even sleep in there. Come on, do it for me, will you? I'll be on the tab for it. Thank you, Bambina. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Munchkin, I feel so foolish. So naive. Why did I think he could change? How could I hope he would have been any different? That this lying, cheating scumbag. Mm -hmm. And you? How could you do this to me? Why did you feel the need to tell me the truth? Mm -hmm. Don't you think some things are better left untold? No. That some secrets deserve to stay unspoken? I'm so mad at you. Mm -hmm. Look, I know you believe you did the right thing. But things are not that simple. Mm -hmm. It's not always a ma matter of honesty versus duplicity. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll take some time alone now. See you later, Stella. No problem. But, you know, I would have felt worse if I would have lied. Alright, hey, you're overcharging asshole. Hmm. You, you talked to her? She said she'll have me back? Incredible, no more sleeping in the park. No more surviving off trash. Back to my dream life. Leisure and good food all day long. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Sound appreciation, I'll even wave my fee. There you go, here's the final design. Look at the curves. Look at the perfect fit of the materials. Mm. Truly a masterpiece. Okay, vintage modern. Huh. Looks good. Well, I need one of those. I'm on an old Walmart desk. Through, let's see. Uh, I need silk, eight silk thread. Okay. We'll go to this place, then we'll save, because I got to take out the garbage and a bunch of other stuff. Have some food. Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, food. That's Dennis. They still got plenty of food. Edgeboro Lane discovered. Well, I'm gonna hop over there. If I can get the bovine license, that would be handy. Mm-hmm. 
I'm the Lizard King. My name's Randy. I know, I know. Aren't you Prince supposed to, supposed to be called Theodore? Yes, but not if you stop paying your franchise fees to Raccoon Inc. Listen, hear me out. I know what you're thinking. This guy looks shady. Well, that's right. That's why I'd cut off my arm and leg to get you the best prices. And not, not just the best prices, the best items. Take a look and remember, my name is Randy my stock can't be beat. Oh, shit. that give me that he has a fucking oval I can go back to Oxbury and get that freaking bounce thing. Sorry, instead of going. Alright. Okay, how much is lounge? I thought I had a... Hmm. Well. Oh. I'm gonna sleep until morning, save it, and then call it. Let me grab the food quick. Alright, pull, pull everything out of the slow cooker. Fried surf. Yummy. Thank you all for being here. I really do enjoy Spirit Fair. It's a wonderful game. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome to another edition of Late Night Spirit Fair with me, your humble host here on Radio Achievements. Now, I could sit here and blab, but But let's just get in the game. I think we're at a new town as well. Oh. Potatoes, yes, yes. Give me them healthy, healthy potatoes. Ooh, and silk. I need that. Thank you.
Perfect. Morning. Uh, okay, uh, improve. Yeah, I, that's what I needed. Hey. Whoa. Okay, that was weird. Okay. Oh. You know what would be nice? Sure. Uh. There we go. It's finally here. Look at it. Look at the curves. Look at the perfect fit of the materials. Truly a masterpiece. I'll be able to accomplish my immense work much more comfortably and glamorously. Now I can manage most of the smaller pieces myself. The large ones as the desk will have to manufacture ourselves. Once I receive some designs from collaborators, I'll give them over to you. I'm sure you'll be as usual perfectly competent in executing them. Hey, excellent. Fully loaded. Okay. Build the lounge. Don't I? Do I have that? I think I was looking before. Oh, okay. Okay, I need ash planks and zinc ingots. I couldn't. Okay. I can do both of those. How's everyone in chat? If you build it, they will come. Indeed they will. Hey, Kokentor, how you doing? We're gonna build a lounge. How's your day gone? How's work been treating you? Oop, get up there. Anything new and exciting? Or, uh... I forget, you're, you're not playing New World, right? Or were you thinking about it? Okay, uh, still on vacation. I. That's fair. I don't know how long people get for vacations. Okay. Sawmill, I need some ash planks. I will read that. And then, I wasn't playing in. <laughs> then stuff happened and now I am. Did someone buy you the game or did you get like an, an offer from someone in there like, hey, come on in? Or was it more you saw enough people playing it and you're like, yeah, I want to give that a shot. <laughs> Mostly peer pressure. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Watched a bunch of it and it looked kind of... I really do like the crafting system in New World. It does look really good. Okay, perfect. And that should be the lounge. Hello. Okay. Lounge is going to have to go right there for now. Hey. It says set price and no sub. Yep, that's... That was one of the things that got Guild Wars off the ground originally, as I recall. Mm -hmm. This is perfect! Couldn't have even hoped for such a lavish saloon. Can't wait to rest my feet on the sofa. Hey, Peanut. Mm -hmm. Want me to fix you a drink? Yeah, come on. You know you want one. With just a dash of vodka. Mm -hmm. A virgin Caesar, then? Really? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Bull? Ah, okay. Suit yourself. The crafting is kind of awesome for someone who thinks grinding is okay. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to sort of pour myself a little pick-me-up, alright? Catch my drift? Right. Wrong crap. Ciao, ciao. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we need... Yeah, I don't mind grinding. Well, it's kind of the MMO mindset. Uh, uh, give you a hug. Come here. A Tuesday night. Under. <laughs> it hit your addiction receptors. It hit them good. Hey, it means you're enjoying it, bruh. That's all it means. Okay, we're good on that. I literally don't remember where we are. We were going to start a couple days ago, so it's catching up to me. Nice. Better keep moving. I'm meeting someone, it's clearly not you. He said inconspicuous. And that giant hat doesn't scream inconspicuous. Oh yeah, I... I just here. I'm playing with the old WoW crowd. Oh, nice, nice. It's always good to have a crew for those games. That is crates. And that is Sunspring Square. I actually got to go to... Uh, I, I can sell off all my old stuff. Because I'm a little strapped for cash right now. Hey, Francis. Sell. Sorcery, the reunion. Bridget, let's hope it's a Black Thunder Lotus. Not selling that. Let's see. I'm going to buy those. And after this round. So we're. That's why I had to get us. We're all new. But we're 60 years in WoW. <laughs> Jesus. Actually. I need to go to Hummingburg, actually. I, I'm actually I need to hit up need to hit up you first yeah I don't even know how long I've actually I actually played in WoW okay, while we travel time to meow There we go. The top five characters, 2.6 years or 20,000 hours. You know what? All right, I got three mystery seeds. Let's see. Then I gotta get that silver ore. Cook, okay. 
Okay. Oh, actually. I was like, yeah, I, I actually want some wheat flour. percent of it. Yeah. Get me here, give me the or Give it, give it, give it. Bash. Bish, bash, and or bosh. No problem. Happy to help. Got to clean off the sides. Get, get all those scallops. We need to go to Hummingburg. Where is Hummingburg again? Okay, that's Oxbury. So yeah, just playing New World. Yeah, hey. I could just, you know, that's perfect. I need to get some fishing in. Thank you. And after this, I'll do the treasure. I'm not sure about the longevity of the game. Hmm. Understandable. But also, I think a lot of people, they're just looking for something different. I think when the nerds get bored, I'll maybe put it aside. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, whoa, 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 bruh. Come on. Jesus, what are you? 
Come on. You're fighting me, jeez. Come on. Had a couple of you bastards so far. Nope. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What the? Jesus. Octopus. That was a fight and a half. Hey, uh, Koken, when you, when you went fishing, uh, what was your, like, main thing? Were you going after, like, bass, cod, you know, salmon? What, what was your, you know, your prey, so to speak? Oh, lobster. Actually, that. Because I remember you mentioned you used to, like, going fishing. Even something like ice fishing was, like, appealing. Trout was your... We just got bass. Oh, perfect. I actually can do a cook. So I want flour and lobster. A big pike was always cool. You know, like... Because I'm, like, looking at my fish. Like, we got some herring, some bay shrimp, some squid, some cod, some eel, some sole. A bunch of, like, mussels and scallops. Char, king salmon. Some clams, octopus, some cuttlefish. Cuttlefish! I was like, huh, I don't hear the windmill. I only did freshwater fishing? Oh, okay. Caught some fish, got the lobster I needed for uh, Mickey and Bruce's uh, request. I just got to go to Hummingburg for a couple other things as well. Also, I don't know all the English names, but most shitty freshwater fish. <laughs> that makes sense. When it comes to actually like eating fish, like, is there a one you prefer? Like, not in terms of catching, but in terms of like, you know, eating. Actually, there. Uh... Oh shit! That trout and salmon. Yeah. A good salmon is fucking delicious. Then maybe cod. Hey. Time was. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I, I got. I got what you need. Well, you took your sweet time. Wait, what's this? It's fish in a lobster roll. I think you can't eat that. It's allergic. Might be starving, but we ain't eating this. I keep wanting to eat something that might kill him, Scout. I want something a little more traditional. None of that fancy garbage. You know what? There was this place in Woodbridge. They had an amazing slogan. What was it? It doesn't matter. They had the absolute best fried chicken. So, 
Bring us some fried chicken. Don't just wait around. Go. Okay. I'll go make some fried chicken, you fucking asshole. You literally asked me for a lobster roll. sworn I had oh well let's fix that smash, smash. He's allergic to fish. There we go. I'll be with you in a minute. There we go. Just water these. I just want to get over to Hummingbird first. This is the fast travel points, basically. Bunk, bunk, bunk. I think I've overstayed my welcome on this ship. I know, I know, I've only just joined you guys recently, but I don't exactly have any say in this, you know? I wish I had. Don't worry, I had a jolly good time. No regrets. I did love that lounge. Bit too much, maybe? I think you might need to restock. Okay, let's go. You know the way, Bambina. Wait, what? Oh shit, Giovanni's, oh shit. Give you some coffee. Mm -hmm. at least six. chicken. Hey, 
There you are. Hey. Fast for fried chicken. It's more like it. it. Tastes exactly like that places. Ah, Scarlet, no! Wigglies. What was the name? Mickey doesn't know either. Still a really hit the spot. Scout is four. Scouting for good food. Keep them coming. Hopefully we won't have to ask next time. Hip hop record straight off the press. Mm. Wax still fresh. Gotta be the dice boys. The name's Taylor and I manage the street team here in Hummingburg. Mm. Been waiting for a while for a new Dice Boys single. Good rumors they were breaking up. Good to know something good came out of such a hectic time. Mm. We spreading these copies around. Thanks for the help. Must be a big fan to come all the way here. Mm. Back off, no time for direction. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the dead and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the mountain gnome wraith, there is a nifty synergy with the level three rogue ability eviscerate. For sure, a bit weird, but hey, five D twenty and auto crit on prone can't be defeated. Am I right? No, that's actually fucking horrifying and terrifying. Uh. Dressed in black and hummingbird, okay. Oh. What? You woke me up. I was taking a rejuvenating momentary nap. Yes, my name is Anthony. I'm indeed a very successful architect. With, might I add, impeccable taste. What can I do for you? Beverly? I've had so many clients over the years. I can't possibly remember them all. Then again. I've had so many drinks as well. I can't remember them all. Some I enjoyed, some I despised. C'est la vie. Not sure what that means, but I always thought it was a great way to end a conversation. Oh, you're still here? That usually ends things pretty quick. As a world-renowned architect, I've had an incredible life. If I stopped to think about every single client, I'd go mad. It's more about the experience than the people. The journey and all that. What? You are starting to annoy me. Your presence in that awful hat. The Renaissance the Renaissance called they need their hat back. And you're still here. If you won't go, it's time for a harmless prank. You know what? I do remember Beverly. And without a last name or any other meaningful details. Bravo! Tell her job of refreshing my memory. Must have a gift. I can visualize her house now my mind. Quick, write this down. It was an incredibly tall house. Very narrow. It had a massive clock. Loud enough to wake the whole neighborhood. And all, and also it's all coming back to me. There was hay inside. She wanted a real barn feel to her house. Humans being animals and such. It's quite the unique project. Well then, that's all I could remember. My mind is a mysterious bedfellow. Well, I'm gonna shut my eyes now and take another small nap. Zzz, zzz. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
Hey. You unlock the door downstairs. No, now anybody can come up here. I don't want these downstairs jerks up here. Yes, young person. Can I assume you are busy? You are a modern woman. You have things to do, tasks to accomplish, deadlines and whatnot. We get it. You have a busy life. We at Fidorama believe in productive productivity and filled bellies. That's why we have created an incredible food delivery service. Carefully crafted meals by our food gourmet artists. Making meals shouldn't be such a distraction. Finding what to eat every day is a chore. Your time matters. Not at the expense of an empty belly. Believe in Fidorama, you'll enhance your palate. You'll grow in taste. With a low fee of 5,000 glim, you'll receive a special package every week. Filled with fresh produce and healthful recipes, you'll be happier and more productive. Imagine the possibilities. Fidorama believes in you. Yeah. Make sure you ship an ASAP. Welcome to the Fidorama family. Okay, cool. I got an achievement for that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that was quick. Uh, oh shit, uh, flower and raspberries. Hey, you like raspberries, don't you? At least I made my money back. I did subscribe to HelloFresh or whatever Blue Apron or you know one of the many 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 well at least I can go back to uh what's his name uh Francis and make my money back. Okay, we got something big. Right. 
Okay, I need two clear glass sheets. What did I need though? I need silica powder, which I need quartz for. I have I have one quartz. Okay. Uh, we could probably stop at the quartz dragon quick. Grab that. Just just finish off uh, Bruce and Bruce and Mikey's house. Mickey. Why do I keep saying Mikey? Morning. Mickey wants decorations for our new. It's cost you big money. Ah, I needed a quartz. Oh. Morning. I'm actually, um... Get over to the quartz dragon. Grab that. Then I can finish that up, and then I'll take Giovanni to the Everdoor. How do you... Oh, you can't. Interesting. Okay. Um, okay, never mind. I need three spirit flowers. Ooh, that's <laughs> that's a fucking tall order. After I send Giovanni off, I'm gonna go check the location of that uh, thing. Uh, the treasure map I got. There you go. No problem, happy to help. Huh? Oh. Great news, Stella. I've just received a fantastic design for a fireplace. Cold oh silly, it's not for heating up the gallery. No, the hearth have been since time immemorial a central piece of any household. It's assembly. It assembles the tribe, rep represents unity, warmth, and light against the harsh nature. A symbol so fundamental fundamental that it is present in almost all cultures. 
The, first, the piece is a reinterpretation of the concept. A comment if you wish on the collective. I'm sure you'll understand very clearly once it's built. Neoclassical Nordic fireplace. Wow. I'll deal with that in just a second. I was like, pick it up. Eggs? Okay. Eggs and flour make batter, right? I'm just asking from a basic, like... Liquor table. Fully improved. Bruce and Mickey. Okay. Got another achievement. Scout, get in here. Mickey loves it. It's exactly up his alley. Don't tell him this. But he wanted to upstage Romeo. You wouldn't know him. This guy from South Shore. He has expensive tastes. He has this awful mansion. Who boasts around town about his house. Mickey hated him. Listen, you've been doing enough running around. We should go somewhere. Take you out and relax a bit. Let me ask Mickey and think of something. Cool. Alright, let me grab that silk. Alright, let's go see if we can fully improve uh, Gustav's place. What does he need with that? Zinc ingot. Okay. Oh, I have the sheet I need already? Alright. Zinc. How much? much zinc ore. I have nine. Oh, no, wait, that's fucking perfect. Yeah, I'll talk to you in a second. Perfect.
talk to you. Yeah, I guess I'll have exactly what I need for that. That's some wheat flour. Yeah, so we got rice flour, corn flour, and wheat flour. Alright. Apparently there's this place called Grey Mist Peaks. You shouldn't be far from here. Mickey thinks you're... Well, we both think you're doing a decent job. Listen, I've been asking a lot from you. Consider this our treat. A little camping trip for your efforts. Some recognition for your discretion in affairs. We've never actually been camping. But we would do this as a gift to you. Let's go take a look at some rocks and trees and some shit. Prove you. Alright, well, first thing first. Wait, let's try this around. Let's uh, go send Giovanni off. Oh shit, y'all are probably hungry. I'm starving here. Not being dramatic, you're being dramatic. Okay. Not nothing fried. Uh -huh. There we go. Hey, Uncle Little. Motherfucker. I guess I yeah. There you go. We're almost there. I need to feed Astrid and uh, Atoll as well. Well, here we are, Bambina. You know I'm not exactly thrilled, but I've got to go. Ready to bring me there? Yeah, I think it's the best decision. Okay, yeah, let's go. I was going to say, I need to feed you. I'm just waiting for everyone to be there. You know what, Peanut? The second I saw you, I knew you were someone special. Someone who, no matter what happened, would always be there and do the right thing. I could see that in people. See the cracks in them. It's easy. Light shines through. 
I guess that's why I fell in love with Astrid. Ha, <laughs> Astrid. She was the toughest nut you could imagine. But she had such an intense light shining through warmth and fire too. Her laugh made mountains tremble. And everyone was happy when she was around. I was happy. I've always spent so much time making sure other people were having fun. Making jokes and being the funny guy. But then on, they only came for her, really. Her majestic, raw, radiant soul. But you, Bambina. You've got that look in your eyes. That soft, killer vibe. I saw so much of me in you. Your bravery, your sense of humor, your gusto. I know it's hard doing what you do. Accompanying people towards their end. It takes more than guts to do something like that. It takes a soul of steel. But hey, good news. You've got it. You've got it, Bambina. Even if you doubt, even if you don't have faith in yourself. Mm -hmm. I have so much faith in you. So much faith in your strength. Mm -hmm. I believe in you, Peanut. Now and forever. And hey, if you need anything, I won't be far. Mm -hmm. I'll be right there, standing right beside you. I'll always be there. Always. I know I shouldn't leave so soon. Believe me, I wish I could have stayed longer. Right here with you, Peanut. Mm -hmm. Promise me you'll take care of Astrid while I'm gone, okay? Don't miss me too much, will you? I've never deserved you anyway. Mm -hmm. But I've loved you, and that won't stop even if I'm not around anymore. The ones who really love you never really leave you, you know? Mm -hmm. Life is amazing, isn't it? A whirlwind, a tremor, a flickering flame. I've tried so much to live to the fullest. Mm -hmm. I regret nothing. Nothing but leaving Astrid. Nothing but leaving you, Stella. Mm -hmm. I wish I could have seen you grow up even more, but here we are. Alright, pour yourself one for me, will you? Ciao, Bella. See ya, Giovanni. Oh shit.
I guess this is... I guess these are all Stella's memories. Is that... I'm just trying to figure out if that's supposed to... I'm guessing anyway. And so you've returned, Spirit Fair. Humbled by your confusion, your disarray, your fear. Time and again you call me by my name. Whisper echoes of my essence, too afraid to hear it. As you stand before me, hesitation floods your heart. You seek to tame, but you only serve. And now you truly see me. See what I inflict upon those you love. All the paths you've crossed, these souls you've embraced. Their lives intertwined with yours. Their faces etched upon your memory. You've opened your heart to the suffering of others. And in return, their spark warms your heart and shapes their fate. Your fate. Every spirit a reminder, every spirit a goodbye. What do they teach you? Their struggles, their drama, their memories, your memories? Are they saying their farewells or are you saying yours? But you are not ready yet, Stella. And these souls still need you. Carry on your task, spirit fairer. Soon your time will come, and we will meet again, for the last time. Have your second conversation with Hades. Oh shit. Okay, got Giovanni's spirit flower. Oh, jeez. There we go. Make sure it's all filled up. Big burb, yes. Okay. I gotta go to bottom line. 85, 165. We'll head there first. Okay, 85, 165. I'm gonna, I was gonna say, okay. remember, 85, 165. Uh -huh. Ooh. Thank you. Hey, Uncle Little. Food, give me some fisherman's pie. Thank you so much, Scarlet. Uh, 
Uh, I need to keep that. Buy at least a hundred items from Raccoon Inc. Then we'll, we'll do some side stuff. Wants to talk to me. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how I feel. Should I be sad? Mm -hmm. Should I be happy? Angry? Feel his absence. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it's as if something had been fulfilled. Completed. You know what I mean, Munchkin? Mm -hmm. Am I a bad person? Is it okay for someone to feel li to feel liberated under such circumstances? I'm sorry, Stella. I don't want to sound ungrateful. Mm -hmm. I'm still a bit shaken, but not lost. At least you're here with me. That's the most important. My heart is stronger because you're in it. Hey. Let Astrid live her best life. Oh, out of six. That's right, Astrid. Live your best life. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. This will be six. Okay, that's the max we can have. Okay, and those are planted. Oh, that works. I just meant to drop down, but hey, hug the cat. Hug the cat-o. Don't have pears. Celery, cotton, fiber. Now nah, I'm good. Alright, 85, 165. Let's see what treasure we got. We got nothing bad on the way, so let's go! Give me some food. You don't like fish? Hi? Hugs. I need to, I do need to do like a round of cooking. Now, yeah, that should be, that's flour and eggs. So that should be like some form of batter. And then we'll go to Furugoa and uh, Bottom Blind Corp to finish off the Dice Boys thing. Ooh. Wait. Mysterious Seed? Okay, I'm curious. I'm... Okay. 
lift you up. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Sawmill upgrade? Oh, fuck yes. Junk seed. Hey. Yeah, it uh, gives junk and sometimes uh, good stuff. All right, let me just uh, get all the silk fibers. Okay, what else do we get? Okay, could go to Oxbury in a minute, but I want the uh, bottom line, South Point. Okay, got those. Now I need Furogawa. Where is Furogawa? We'll go to bottom line and then we'll see if we can find Furogawa. Yeah, we are. I, I I guess they're adding improving time to the goddamn thing. Now I gotta go look for that because I'm annoyed now because I'm like, I know I've been to the place. Okay. Mustang Co. Hummingburg. Green Halton. That's the villa. In Rio. Osake. And that is Pro's End, okay? That's the countryside. Where the f is Furogawa? Is that? That's Oxbury. Probably head there after. Ambertown. Am I going insane? Like, I could have sworn I've fucking been there. Well, I have to go here anyway. Uh, 
Gray mist. Okay, I can't even go there yet. I do need to head to Oxbury to get another thing. So I'll head up there. I need to head up to the South Point and then I need to head over to Oxbury. I'm just annoyed I can't find this fucking place now. Okay, I found it. Okay, well, thankfully there's a bus stop right by there. I'm annoyed. I am fucking annoyed now. Alright, we're almost there. Stella, I've received the most amazing submission. This is a design for a clock. One of the strongest symbols of humanity's dedication to rising above this lowly station. For the measuring of time beats the path to its accounting, which in turn allows for long-term planning. When the first human started this colossal of seem and seemingly pointless task of measuring time, they extracted themselves from the instant. They stopped surviving as animals. I said they started surviving as a species. Uh -huh. Humanity was born when the apes decided they would play timekeepers. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. Uh -huh. Anyway, I'm quite excited about this new design and trust it to you. Maxim minimalist clock. Jesus Christ. Okay, what do we need? For? Jesus Christ! I can get the crystal glass and the rose glass, but gold ingots, have we even encountered gold yet? Legit, like, okay, I have. No, okay, I can get, get the crystal glass sheet. But like, Jesus, okay. Okay, our next, that's our next big breaking point. Well, the two ones are bottled ectoplasm and uh, gold ingots. Okay. should be batter or something. Oh, pancakes! You know what? Flour, egg, equal pancake. You know what? I'm completely okay with that. Oh yeah, that that ridiculous pricing. What's up? Marcus is the name. Rapping is my game. I run a small distro, but there's this buzz about the Dice Boys. They bring a new energy to the scene. You know? It's what the people want. I can't stop people from wanting that good stuff. Business is business. Thank you for the record. You have yourself a good one. Okay. Dice boys. Okay, now we gotta go to South Point.
and then I'll head over to Oxbury. to get lemon south point docks oh then we gotta head back to oxbury and then we take a long fucking trip to furagawa They needed lemon tree. I'm just doing all the shenanigans for the extra little stuff. Hmm. You there. You here for the lemon? Oh, good. Listen. Be cool and don't worry about it. Just take these lemons and get out of here. I don't want them in my life. I don't need the trouble. Ride the lemon dragon. I need, yeah, I need to go to Oxbury because I think it also has a, uh, a shrine. Morning. Excellent. Mulberries, ash, potato, wheat. Hey. Yeah, if uh, I'm gonna have chickens, I might as well keep the sunflower production going. So I'm not using this field for anything else right now. That hurt. Oh. I was gonna say, it I thought that it looked like it was ready to go. Now my question is, is there going to be another dragon for the gold ore? Uh, I'll grab this and then I'll... Come on.
Mahi Mahi. Okay. Lemonade vendor in Oxbury. Okay. This is amazing. You really pulled through. I was worried for a second there. Pretty bad people breathing down my neck. But lemons. I know, right? People are hyped up on these darn lemons. Anyway, you did good. Thank you for the lemons, and here's a little something for your trouble. Hey! Well, I don't know about you, Munchkin, but this place is a trash hole. What's that worth this refrap? She can have him. I won't shed a tear for him. I have better things to do. I won't have him back either. Mm -hmm. Be stuck with this problem. It's not mine. It's all fun and games right now. You were crying your little eyes out soon enough. Mm -hmm. Harlot. There it is. Yeah. Floaty kitty. So I'm going to test something. One, two. Load. Hey. No, fuck it. You did what? What a treat. I can't wait to see how you replicated my old house. It won't be filled with memories, but we'll make some new ones. Oh, sweet pea. You went above and beyond. More importantly, how was it? How was Anthony? Did he still have that spark? 
That's certain. Je ne sais quoi. Oh, you know what? Don't tell me. I'd rather see him for myself. Your words won't do him justice. You remember my friend from back home, Carol? The one with four kids. The one who had the car that car accident. Carol. She would always talk about her crushes. She would go on and on about these Greek gods. Then in person they were all shaped like celery and had bad posture. There were nothing to write home about. Carol had the wrong taste in men. Her husband was not the clutch was not the cat she claimed he was. Enough about Carol and her poor choices we should go see Anthony. I'll bring you along to chaperone this little escapade. Okay, I already got that. Okay, now how do I get over to that? Hmm. Oh shit! Bread! I can make bread! Oh, okay, I didn't realize the bounces were multiple. Do I need... Okay, I need to go to Borogawa. I like bread. <laughs> Asiago, specifically. Oh, jeez. Alright. Sweet pea. Stay back. Wait, let's see. Oh my god, you're adorable! I haven't felt this alive in years. But before we go a little venture, I should take a look at that house. Neom! Where is she? Oh my god! <laughs> He's smaller than Daffodil! <laughs> oh my god! Funtacular bouncy platform if I want it. Let me see if I can imp Stella! What is this? This isn't my old house. This is a dump. Have you ever seen a house before? Looks like a kid's drawing of a house. Looks like a dog made it. Is this a joke, Stella? If it is, it's not a good one. I'm mortified that you would want me to live in this. Did you think this was my home, and my children's, and my husband? We lived in a cozy little farmhouse. I know this was years before I moved to the city and you and I met, but... This is just a client, giant clock with some leftover hay inside. I... I... I know you tried your best, but this is a mistake. I can't stay here. I can't go on with you, especially with that as my house. And on top of that, I can't believe Anthony gave you the wrong plan. I need to go back to Oxbury. Let's go. God fucking damn it. Well, we're already here. I want small burb. Hmm. Hope you consider making it up to me. My old home was very important. Make sure marked, here's what it should look like. We lived on a farm. There was nature all around us. We had dogs and goats running around everywhere. It was a quaint little farmhouse. It wasn't run down. It had character. 
It was big enough for the whole family. Better? That should be clear as day. Hope it'll be right this time. And chin up, sweet pea. It's only a setback. You know I'm allowed to be bossy because I'm very old. Okay, what is... Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? Wow! Your hat is so big! Man, look at that cat! Wow! Am I in a garden? Is this a boat? On water? Oh, this is wild! Catch this! It was in the ground with me! See ya! What the f- I got about 15 dozen questions! I need one clear glass sheet. I, I'm sorry, was that a fucking mushroom? That was a four-armed mushroom that just... I, okay. Do I have enough for a clear glass sheet? Yes, excellent. True man. Not you man. True man. There we go. So now we. So now we have a mushroom and a tiny, tiny, tiny burb. Are you here to apologize about the house? Yes. Well, don't. It's nice and all, but remember, never apologize just because someone asks you to. The real culprit here is obviously Anthony. He might be a professional architect, but he's an amateur record keeper. If he thinks that house is for my family, then he must think very little of me. What a joke. He's heard the last of me. <laughs> Men, who needs them? Well then, let's go aboard. I can't wait to see my house. The right one, that is. I love the walk and flutter. The walk and flutter is amazing. I improved their health yet? Okay, I need linen fabric. 
some bottled ectoplasm and some zinc ore. I can do linen fabric like right now. I just need some zinc ore and some bottled ectoplasm. And then she'll be perfectly queued up. <laughs> ah! You woke me up. Your room is itchy. I don't like to sleep in here. Where should I sleep? The guest house? Yes, I can make it. Stanley's room! Oh my god, the mushroom is named Stanley. Thanks, big hat. <laughs> oh my god, I love this little mushroom man. Their name is Stanley. Okay, then we need to go to Furugawa. So now our new... Spirits are a mushroom and a tiny, tiny burb. We'll go here because there's a bus stop near Furugawa. I'm sorry that I Oh wow, you really pulled out all the stops. I know I can count on you to build me this house. It took more tries than I imagined, but that's alright. Having you around is quite the treat. My kids just don't come as often as I'd like. They're busy with their own lives. Just not a part of theirs anymore. Well, that's what neighbors are for. Glad you moved in upstairs. You've always been a helping hand. And you and Daffodil are so quiet. That's what makes you such a great listener. Well, oh, well then. Let me get settled in. That house and I need some time to reconnect. Good night's sleep in my old bed will do me wonders. We'll talk soon. Hey, I got the obol. Okay, let me grab three eggs. Damn, okay, we're good. Come here. All the way to Furokeid and Furogawa was right there. And then we might, yeah, we got egg. Bunk. Hey, what's up? Pancakes. Hugs. And I'm gonna check out that tuna. Because I think it's special, like, fishing stuff. Bye, bus driver. Okay, gray mist. Let Astrid live her best life.
and then that'll be it for the dice boys I don't and then I need to go to obscure canopy and old central Hey you, the name's Megan. I run the street team for the Dice Boys here in Furugawa. We got hungry fans, hungry for them bars. I'm dead ass. The Dice Boys are huge here. It's new record warning, sacred dog. It's really gonna push some boundaries. Sonically and popularity wise. Just so happy for them. Been here for a minute. It's time people start recognizing their talent. Thanks for the shipment. Okay. Dice Boys, Oxbury. Back to Oxbury, talk to the Dice Boys. Huh? What's up? What the fuck? Look, big hat. I did what you told me. The guest house is now Stanley's room. It's not entirely ready yet. Still need to find a bunch of stuff to make it nice. Want to help? Well, could you? That would be great. I need some linen fabric. Making something. Can't tell you what it is. It's a secret. Think veggies? Cause they look like veggies. You don't eat veggies? Okay, you don't eat vegetables. Pancakes. Wait, are you a mind reader? Sure you're not a mind reader? Okay, I believe you. I love it. I could eat breakfast all day, every day. Soft kind. Thank you so much, big hat. You're the best. You can move him on the ship. I heard a seagull earlier, I think. That is so cool. Well, I think. Might have been a pigeon on my stomach rumbling. But if it was, that's pretty awesome. Uh, oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Plain dish. Come here, hug. Mm -hmm. I sure am hungry. It's got to be the fact I haven't eaten in a while. Thank you. Sugar and eggs. Okay, uh, fuck. Isn't that whipping cream? No. No. I'm just, what to sh- Like, I should have a basic knowledge of shit like that. I know that's a Okay, so I know someone has zinc ore. Oh. Perfect. Uh Yeah, I'm gonna use the bus stop again. A meringue? That is a high possibility. I got time for like grab the zinc ore. Oh geez, come on.
Okay, grab that thing. Okay, yeah, I'll grab the ore from here and that the couch will be done. And then I need bottled ectoplasm. That seems to be my biggest, like, you know, catch right now. I need bottled ectoplasm. Hi. Oh, sweet. Giant turtle. Could also almost be a Toriel. Okay, I'm gonna drop a quartz here. Uh, silver ore. And a little bit more. Are you all done there? Yep. Hey, what's up? Think about. I don't know why, but I think about the past a lot these days. All these images come back to me, wake me up at night. Think of all the horrors during the war. All my friends who died. The joy at the liberation. And of course, I think of all those children we hid in the basement of the factory, Granny Sue and I. I was so young, only a few years older than them. Sixteen? Seventeen, maybe? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize what I was doing. All the implications. All the risks. Mm -hmm. But I was young and didn't see any other option. I couldn't leave those kids out there. They were so afraid. Mm -hmm. Small. And we knew most of their parents. Mm -hmm. None of them came back. Here. Yeah, let's go to the old central district. Okay, let's make 22 silk fabric just so we know we have that. What did I, I need a gold ingots and a rose gold sheet. Where the hell do I get freaking gold? I do a, my best guess is it's probably a dragon. I just don't know which one. Cause that's silver. I think it might be something I can only get after the mist cleaner. 
because like oh, what's up hey lobster and that's actually excellent thank you so much Uh, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't. What do I need for the mist cleaner? Oh, yeah, okay. Eight bottled ectoplasm, five more crystal glass, and three, two more spirit flowers. Oh boy, almost done. Old Central. Okay, let's go check this place out. Oh. oh. This place is missing something. Oh, I know. It needs to have a fancy decoration. I need something awesome. A treasure. Something that looks shiny and valuable. Maybe anything. A gift. A big hat. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> he still won't let me in. I love the fact it's called. Okay, wait. Gray mist. Okay. Oh. Let's. Son of a fully improved Stanley's playroom. Sweet. Ah, yes, honey. Where is that man? You're the delivery person. No, you're just a random paparazzo who wants my autograph. No, well, whoever could you possibly be? Larry Salzberg is shooting a new suspense picture. Oh my, what are the odds? Just thinking about him the other day. Honey, did you hear that? Where did he go? It was right here a second ago. Well, if it's for Larry, I'll do it in a heartbeat. He is asking me in the movie, is he? You won't regret this. Give it my best. Good news and on my moving day. I should move more often. Hey, sweet. Jesus Christ! When you hear the switch, it's easy to boss people around. I don't even have a job and I act like a boss. My father can see me now. He would be so proud. This is so intense. Look at everyone down there. Ants. We are giant. I think we are better than them. You're a prick. Alright, let's keep going up. Cornbread! Hey! Cornbread is freaking delicious. In case you're wondering why I'm floating down here, it's just... Because there's a treasure over here. And french fries. Hmm. 
I haven't had cornbread in ages. Hey, what's up? Yeah, the door is locked. We already tried. Big guy couldn't smash it open. Whoever lives here has pretty tight security. Must be loaded. Which means there's something worth stealing inside. That's why I never lock my front door. Let's people know I don't have any worth thing worth taking. Which isn't true, but it's all mind games. You can come in, but you're entering a world of pain. I don't make the rules, Scout. That's just life out here. What are you doing there? I don't know the circus is in town. You need to get down from there. You are not allowed. I pay good money to live here. Alone with my thing. If I wanted to see an acrobat, I'd pay to see one. Stop trying to rob me, you burglar. You know, I don't appreciate that. Maple salmon. Jeez. Waffles.
Yeah. Okay. Now we gotta. Now we gotta go to back to Oxbury and the Nord Sea Pier. Oh hey, what's up, Stanley? Oh my God. Hey Stella, what do you think? You know the dust shades on the boat? I mean, they're funny looking, but they're so gloomy all the time. Once they're here, they cling to you like chewed gum and never really leave you alone. They bother me, you know. Wish they'd be gone. They make me and everyone sad. What? You've never seen them? Huh, that's weird. Oh, I know. Jacob can help you. He can see them too. He is a ghost beetle after all. You can bring him with you. He loves when we take him out of his box. Just have to touch the glass and he'll jump out to fly with you. Then you'll see them too. But you'll have to catch them to make them go away. Careful though, they're super fast. Put on your running shoes. Okay, I'll do that in just a sec. Creme brulee. I will talk just a second, Beverly. Sweet pea. Got a lead on something incredible. It's huge. Listen up. Apparently there's this kid in Amber Ambertown Park hanging out copies of the Super Saver discount book. No reaction? Nothing? Wow. You kids these days. Every cent is important. Can't go around squandering your paycheck. You need to be smart about how you spend your money. Let Bev show you the way. Say you want to buy something. Are you going to pay full price for it? No way, you need to be chasing deals. That's what my mom used to say. That's what I'm telling you. Just need the patience to pounce at the right moment. You do me more like a tiger, sweet pea. Let's say you've been eyeing an archive room B2522 for your boat. Randy in Edgeboro Lane is the only one who's got the blueprint. Are you just going to walk up to him and pay full price? Nope. Good. No way you should be paying full price for anything. You're going to wait and find a way to pay a bit less. If that means taking a detour to Ambertown Park before buying something at Edgeboro Lane, so be it. Go we'll just buy that archive room right away. Won't be worth it. Not unless you can shave a few glims off the asking price. Well. Aww. Yes. Oh, jeez. Come here, you little... Come here. Come here, you little shitlands. Finally got bottled ectoplasm. Oh, I... No, you don't. That was awesome. They were everywhere. Now that they're gone, I feel like I can breathe again. Those dust shades are kind of cool, though. They glow and they run fast. Real fast. I don't glow. I can't run that fast. Wish I could. One day, maybe. Don't worry, big hat. If the dust shades ever come back, I'll tell you right away. If you want to get rid of them, you just, you go touch the glass room to wake up Jacob. Can I do that again quick? Oh, Jacob's not there. Okay. I can finally give Uncle Atul his fucking picture frame. Finally. Uh, yeah. 
This all looks amazing. You got it all. My house has never looked better. Sure, the other passengers are already jealous. But let's not rub it in their faces. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Have some fried surf. Ooh, pub food. Hell yes. I could go for some... You know what? I haven't had fish and chips in ages. We had such a blast. Mickey making so much money. The money. There's nothing we couldn't buy. Our mama had never seen so much dough. She was a great lady. Stuck in her old ways. She knew Mickey was putting himself in danger. But she didn't say anything about it since the house was paid twice over. Give you some pancakes. Oh, my bad. Now we're talking. Pub food. Yup. Oh shit. Damn. Hey, what's up? I think we should organize a big dinner for everybody aboard. I'm not kidding around. Well, not everyone. Just a few people, maybe. I think it would bring spirits up. You should invite everyone ask what they want for dinner. Let's say three of your favorite dinner companions. What do you think? Hey, big hat. I'm bored. Bored and angry. Never get to play around. It's always so strict on this boat. Why don't we have some fun? What if you could put anything you wanted in those machines? Like the foundry. Yeah. That would be incredible. Let's throw some junk in it. Maybe an old shoe? Gross, but fun. Okay. Foundry? Okay. Okay, we threw it. We threw a shoe in there. Let's see what happens. Blue? Okay. What Oh, Stanley loves other people's food. Some french fries. Food. I can't see. Oh. You want some french fries? I'm pretty sure I have the recipe for French fries. Potato <laughs> and fat. Which would be an oil. And potato. Yeah. That was incredible, big hat. Now let's get him wackier. Go to the loom. Play with the crusher. Let's experiment. Oh, oh, oh. This is so wild. Please, 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 please. Say yes. Awesome! Here's a bunch of junk you can try out. Jesus. I've heard the others talk about their houses. What's that about? I don't get it. Everyone has their own tree house? Just for them? Why go through the trouble? My parents would never go for it. One house for everybody. That makes more sense. 
Less cleaning. Wait a second. Could I have a house too? Just for me? Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I need paper. Paper. We gotta find some paper. I think I know how to make some. My mom would mix things together to make it. You could do that too, couldn't you? Yay, thanks. You're awesome, big hat. Oh. Wow. Okay. Found sawdust and glue. Oh, that's not how my mom would make paper, though. Paper would be half-ass. Something my mother said sometime. You can still combine these two. Might even be better. I don't know. I just need to find a way to actually make it. Maybe you could heat it? Yeah, try cooking it. Best things are cooked, right? I think. I'm not allowed the kitchen. I make mistakes. I'm dying from the fucking cuteness. Okay, wait. <laughs> One moment. All right, I have returned. I just got tea. Okay, let's see. Is the foundry to... What am I throwing in the crusher? How to write something even further? You know what? Okay. Apple. Egg. Foundry for fun. Okay, I already threw an old shoe in there. failed experiment because it's fucking fish in a foundry. <laughs> I'll, I will do some homemade glue. Pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. There we go. So 
Sorry if I'm slurping into the mic. It's apple cinnamon tea. It's actually really good. Bop. Okay, cook sawdust and glue together. How close are we done? Really? Oh, geez, I haven't fed you. Sorry. Let me share you quick. Pop, 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 pop. Never mind. What did I? Oh yeah, French fries. And I'll go to bed. Sleep. Now I gotta go to Oxbury and talk to the Dice Boys. Made so many mistakes. I wouldn't have made that many. My dad would say, don't worry about it too much. That would really make my mom mad. Have some food. He doesn't like veggies. He likes french fries. What? French fries! Did you know? It's my favorite food in the whole world. You're amazing, big hat. Wait, are you a chef? Are you sure you're not a chef? That's restaurant grade good food. Yum. Sorry, big hat. I'm busy. Um, <laughs> num, 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 num. What? Okay. Paper's almost done. Hey. You want some acquired taste? Come here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Apple cinnamon. Yeah. I do have some throat coat tea. I probably should start using that for the streams. Just because I am talking so much. Let's see, how many do I get out of this now? Hell yeah, four eggs. Oh, and uh. Uh, the uh. Flower. Not the flower. Uh, the things. Uh, whatever it is, I make creme brulee. There he is, Stanley. Morning, Uncle Little. I'm gonna give you some food. Give you some creme brulee. I've never actually had creme brulee. That looks exactly like paper. It's even pretty cool. Yes, that will do it. Just give it to me now. I bet I could draw some blueprints on it. Give the paper. That will work. I have crayons in my house. A bunch of them are hiding in the sofa. Thanks, big hat. I'll start by drawing the nicest blueprints ever. The biggest and most beautiful houses. Maybe someday I could draw buildings for real? Yeah, someday.
Yay! I just want to give Stanley a big fucking hug. Oh shit, I don't even know where I am. Oops. Stanley's adorable. Big hat! Okay, we need to go to Oxbury. Safe travels! Oh, I gotta water all these. Yes? I don't know if there are more ghost beetles on your boat. Jacob could have another friend to play with. On the other hand, he's with me. He sees them. Family of sadness. Thanks, Jacob. I can avoid them. One time, one of them bit me on the nose. Did you know that? I switched on light and he got scared. That's the thing with dust shades. Light scares them big time. That's why they hide in the shadows and no one can see them. And that's why they don't like your belt buckle. It's bursting with light. Astrid. Need some food. Oh. Old fashioned. Something fashionable is cutting edge. Hug. Have you picked a first mate yet? If not, I'd like to volunteer. So I have excellent credentials. It runs in the family. To be honest, I just don't want to take orders from the cat. Ella, you're running around all the time. You've been doing all these errands for everybody. Putting others in front of your needs. When I look at you, I see a little bit of myself. Did you know that? But I want to let you in on a little secret. You might love to run around and help all these people. But you need to take some time for yourself. Do something that's only for you. It's something I never got to do myself. I suppose that's why I'm here. In this world. On this boat. That's why Viv and my daughters don't have me around anymore. Well, at least we got each other, Sprout. That was incredibly fucking sad. God damn it. Oh, I s Okay. Well, first things first. D -d dice boys. D -d -d dice boys. Get out of our way, you. It's our town. You did good. You got the word out about a new record. I wouldn't be surprised if you become a music superstar. Dice boys! We don't really. We didn't need, really need the help since we're already popping. But still, it's good to have a true fan. Slinging our record in the streets. Thanks again. Ha! Okay. Okay, I need to go to Ambertown Park. Hard! I'm sorry, that. Yeah, because I can't go to these yet because I do not have the mist clear. Okay. Let's see, what else do I need for improving? Fully upgraded. Don't have that blueprint. You're full. I guess that was good. Uh, 
you're done. Okay, I've already got the field upgrade. Got the garden upgrade. Don't have that. Kitchen upgrade. Don't have the corral upgrade. I've got the foundry upgrade. I need gold ingots for him. Got the sawmill upgrade. Oh! Okay, I need silica powder to get that. Okay. Okay, good, good to know, okay. Silica, silica, that is quartz. Bash, bash, bish, bish, bash, 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 bash. I think that I, yeah, I think I just needed, well, Smash, you mean Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? Now with Sora? Hey. What do they want? Oh, I did that. Well, let's see, does it... Oh, shit. Yep, plenty of silica powder. I'm gonna invite Gustav, Astrid. Uh -huh. That overdrive friend of yours is organizing a dinner. I think you're taking care of the food, my dear. Let's see. I think it takes skill, something. Tuna Tanaki. Oh, geez. Case. Where's Astrid? I want to invite her. Astrid. Mm -hmm. Atul wants me at the dinner? Sure. I guess I should be there. I don't know. Not sure if I. Anyway, if I get there, I should eat some noodle mm -hmm. soup. Probably be fun to talk to everybody. Or not. Be there much good. Hey! Okay. Found something you might like. Oh, God damn it! Been mulling it over. Took me a while to figure it out. I don't think I'm happy here. I miss my family. Miss the way the house smells before a big dinner. I know I can't go back home. That's just not possible. But I don't want to be here anymore. I know that would mean not being with you. But I want to be alone for a bit. Take some time for myself. Maybe enjoy some quiet if that's even possible. Thanks for listening, Sprout. I do tend to get intense, but I don't want to put pressure on you. Hopefully that wasn't too much. Game, if you take away my... Oh. Now here comes the hard part. I need a sous chef. Someone to help me prepare all the meals. Good chef always has a good team behind them. Leave you me, Stella. You make a great team. I just write down what everybody wants. You just need to prepare it all. The heavy lifting, you know. Okay. Cook. Got the french fries already, so that's handy. I'm sorry. 
If after this Uncle Atoll goes, I'm gonna be a fucking mess. Why are you doing? Do it. Just for that? Give it. I came here to clear my head and my throat. I've had this pretty bad cold for the past few weeks now. Not looking any better. Feels like I have a rock back there. Look, fresh air and talking do help. Wait a second. I shouldn't talk, come to think of it. Let's not talk anymore. Are you looking for a good deal? You want to save big time, yes? Yeah. Go to a coupon book that might be right up your alley. It's a super saver discount book. It's got deals. It's got savings. It's out of control. And it's mostly legal. It will enhance your shopping experience to the extreme. With this coupon book, you'll be keeping more of your hard-earned glimpses. These deals will keep you rich. I promise. If you want to save, you got to get this coupon book. It's totally free. I will just take some personal information that will no way impact your future life. Sure. It's great. Here you go. You'll be able to save big time at certain Raccoon Inc. locations. Actually, just one. For now. We are working on expanding. My Uncle Randy was trying to unionize some other shops and it didn't go as planned. What's with the toilet roll? The head's about to catch fire. Uh, those are spirits. That is their baseline form when they're not on the boat. Corporate really cut his brakes figuratively and literally. For now, my Uncle Randy at Edgeboro Land is ready to slash his prices for you. Take care now. Yeah, like... We We Yeah, like... I'll... Once we get back on the... I'll show you. I'll get back on the boat. Yeah, that is their baseline form. Like... Oh, everyone's sleeping. That's annoying. Let's get over to Edgeboro Lane. Sleep. When they come on the boat, they assume their true anthropomorphic forms. They want to go to Edgeboro Lane. Like, for example, I believe the, the child, they're a forearm mushroom. The old lady is a tiny burb. Your uncle is a giant fr uh, toad. Okay, I'll give you the french fries. Uh, of course Stanley loves some french fries. Now, the ones I got were tuna. I need noodle soup and tuna. Okay, that's wontons. That's casserole. Maple salmon. That's it. I need tuna and a savory veggie. And a noodle soup. I just need. Okay, I just need rice flour. That's actually. Oh, I'm back to kid. Give you some food. Do you take dessert? Come on. Got your random shit done? Time for Friday gaming. You still gonna be... I can see it so vividly. Mickey was a kid. Young. Too young. Piece of shit comes out and hits me with a baseball bat. Didn't even see the shit stain. 
My body goes limp and hits the ground. Mickey is red. Like a tomato. Grabs the guy who still hit me with a bat, by the way. Throws that asshole into the side of a car. The window shatter. That guy's glass all over. Scream repeatedly. It's in my eyes. It's in my eyes. Blood is coming out of his eyes. Mickey, well, he's just laughing. What a laugh. That thing could lull me to sleep. That's a little fucked up. Alright. Me some ego. Time for more New World grinding? Or, uh, you gotta do your dailies, right? In, uh, new, in, uh, World of Tanks and, uh, the other game you mentioned the other day, I, it's, I'm, World of Tanks daily. Yeah. What's up? Oh, hey, what's up, Stanley? Big hat! Okay, I need a... a pack, what? A fucking hash. What? You don't know what that is? How could it be? It's super popular and normal. Everyone has them lying around the kitchen. Everyone loves them. Oh, come on. Are you making fun of me? I don't like it when people make fun of me. Look, I've been dreaming about it. I need a fucking hash. Yeah, what? what is a fucking hash? And No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky just can't be arsed. Okay, noodle soup is done. Now I need tuna. So, unfortunately, it's going to take some traveling. Where did you get that coupon book? I told my nephew to stop handing those out. Now I'm on the hook for a lifetime discount for every customer on the face of the planet. Randy, why don't you give Claude a job? That's the last time I listened to my sister-in-law. Yeah, yeah. You don't tell anyone you get the discount on everything. Not that I have any choice either way. Enjoy your shopping experience, valued customer. And always remember, my name is Randy and my stock can't be beat. Except by you, apparently. All right, you animals. You should be ashamed of your lack of musical knowledge. The best song in the world is The Autumn End. No doubt about it. The song rules. That's a bald-faced lie. Lover's Myth is not only the superior song, but it's also technically more interesting. You don't know music. Possible. It's the same song, you jerk. Words Lover's Myth are the in the damn lyrics. No, it's not. You don't have a good taste and you know nothing. Settle this thing for us. These dumb, dumb idiots say that uh, Autumn End and Lover's Myth are different songs. That's just, just wrong. Please help us prove these jerks are so wrong. You play the guitar? Of course you do. Look at those fingers. Callus is the size of mountains. If only you knew a song, you could play it for us. Wait a second. I know where you can find the sheet music to the Autumn End. It's literally the sport anthem to the city I'm from. Everyone knows it. I'm sure you can find a shop in Nordweiler that sells it. It's gotta be there. Some pocket change. Keep it. Bring back the sheet music. Paul's versus Simon's. God damn it. Oh, that's a musical pull. That is a goddamn musical pull and a half. Huh. 
grab that quick. As a as a fan of that of that old school music, I'm just like, God fucking damn it. Hey, muesli. The pooping stuff. Okay, I, I, I need to go to Nordweiler anyway. Yeah, I could have just zipped over there, but, you know, gotta have some fun. Ow, my back. I will see to you in just a moment. I've literally been there before. C Pier. Hey. Okay, that's a fucking trip and a half, so... Where's the bus stop? Good job, sweet pea. Lesson learned. You waited and it paid off. I'm proud of you. Can I say you should go ahead and build the archive room, B. Yeah. You bought it, you earned it. Stella, mm -hmm. Munchkin, I am, I'm so tired, so old, I can't, I can't do it anymore, mm -hmm. I can't go much further, will you do me a favor, please bring me there sweetheart, bring me to where it ends. Mm -hmm. Look Stella, you want to hear me say this, oh, you did something marvelous here, simply incredible. I'm so proud of you. I mean, wonder if there's anything left for me to teach you. The noodle soup is simply my favorite dish. Congratulations. Come here. Alright. A oh, fucking hi. Okay, I need some linen fabric. see here way the fuck up here but we gotta head over here anyway Bonk. Right, now we'll go build that and then we'll go actually tuna
pushed to Beverly. Oh. <laughs> oh God, my heart just fucking broke. Not bad. This looks great. This reminds me of my late husband David's classroom. Obviously, you've never met him, but you knew he was a high school teacher. You already knew that. The room. It's just very similar. You should go inside and take a peek. Maybe see if the projector still works. I will do that in a moment, but I just... I want to get over to the tuna. Before we can't travel. Oh, jeez. And then ah, while we talk to you in a minute. Okay. I will talk to you in just a moment, Stanley. You don't have a fucking hash yet? Really white and brown and hard. We have your breakfast. And, and now it's because. It's an egg! Egg, you say? That doesn't sound right. Not an egg? That's a fucking hash! My mom calls him. <laughs> anyway. Anytime I would walk into the kitchen during breakfast, start playing. She would say, Stanley, don't touch the f that fucking hash. Aww. <laughs> I'm sad now. My it wasn't my fault, I swear. I'm bored. Stanley is bored. What do you have to do around here? Anything dangerous? Something that might cause explosions? You are an adult, right? I'm with an adult. I can do dangerous things. <laughs> I say we had a place to try some cool and possibly dangerous experiments. Oh, yeah. Come on. Build the cellar. Okay, I need linen fabric and some bottled ectoplasm. So if I want to do that, I need ectoplasm. Come here, you little dickheads. Gotcha. Come here, you little bastards. Run all you want. Run, run as fast as you can, you. Come here. God. God damn it. Come here. There we go. I'm getting like a Flight of the Bumblebees vibe from this music. Come here, you little bastards. Okay. Oh yeah, fabric. Oops. Go to sleep, Stanley. Okay. 
Awesome. All right, now it's time for a lot of night fishing because I need a tuna. What the fuck? It's, does that mean I have a tuna hooked? This music just got fucking bumping. Come on. Come on. Come on, tuna boy. Bluefin. Oh shit, a bluefin? Woo. Even I know of fucking bluefins, a big boy. What the Oh shit. You know, let's let's get it cooking. Okay, savory. Oh, I'm sorry. Savory veggie. That would be like carrots, leeks. to say carrot because uh, carrots don't strike me as sweet they, they they're a savory veggie I guess like s I got time I'll, I'll see if I can get another cast in case I fucked up Snow crab. <sighs> wakey, wakey, everybody. What I needed. Wanted. Okay. Morning. And I just finished my tea. What's that? Wait, that's what a cellar is? You put things in there and then you wait? That's it? 
Oh man, this is so boring. Not at all what I had in mind. I'm so disappointed. I wanted fires and explosions. <laughs> what will I do now? This is so stupid. Am I fermenting? Oh my god, what am I making? I'm fermenting fucking... Ugh. With catsup and soda. Would it enter your oven? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, thanks. So good. No problem. Morning. I'm trying to make a goddamn tuna. Do you have a favorite passenger? Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me. It's your secret. I have one too. It's my secret. Wait. What if it's the same one? Oh. Oh, oh. Now I kind of have to know. Oh no, it's going to bug me the whole day. Please tell me. Come on. Wait. No, don't tell me. Oh, fudge. I shouldn't have said anything. Never mind. <laughs> Come here, you little mushroom bastard. This is great. You're adorable. You're, you are probably fucking hungry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't like sweet. Where is Uncle Little? What? Thanks! Why did I... F if I'm making... Oh god, if I'm making what I'm thinking of... I, I am horrified. God, I can't pronounce it though. I, I'm fermenting fish. Like, am I thinking of that really nasty, nasty food? Okay, I need to get, where is Uncle Little? What's up? Plane? Oh yeah, you like pub food. Come here. Need to find Uncle Atul so I can get goddamn noodles. Oh yeah, you're probably hungry. Mm -hmm. Little. There you are. Oh, geez, speaking of. Have some poach. Uh, I give the. Okay, come on. Just be regular tuna, please. Come on. God damn, you're a fighter. Come here. Did I use? 
Hey, uh, Scarlet, if you're still here, could you Google something for me quick? If it's not too much trouble. Oh, oh, crap. I can't. Uh, are carrots considered savory vegetables? Gone? No, it's still there. Okay, I think. Fuck. Because I'm just curious, like, did I get it right with the bluefin, but then I fucked up by using carrots? Like... Whoa, Jesus. Okay. You could also look for it in reference to Spirit Fair. Come on. Work with me this time, you... I just want to make sure I didn't fuck up. Come on. Come on. A fight with you all goddamn day. Onions, garlic, are savory. Okay. Carrots are starchy. Hmm. Come on. No, no. You're coming home. You're coming with me, you son of a... Mm. What about like a leek? Or a mushroom? Come on! Whew. I'm, you're a fighty bastard. Come on. Come on. and red beans, as well as cabbage and the others I mentioned above. Okay. Oh my god. Come on. Okay. Are you? Oh. Okay, okay. I have a strategy now. I have a strategy now. Pull, okay, it goes red. Pull, roll, roll, pull. Son of a bitch. <sighs> oh, 
Oh my god. Okay, come on. Albacore tuna. Okay. Let me go check the fermenting. Uh -huh. Found something. Oh, hey. What you got? Oh, God. Sir Strumming. I was right. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was so boring. I almost slept the whole time. Hey, I have an idea. I think I'll turn it around. I want to do a play. A theater play for everybody aboard. I have a story I want to tell. It's going to be great. So, you got to invite your favorite friends. Decide how many people you want. Find the best audience for my great play. Okay, cooking. Okay. That's bubbles. Okay, I need tuna and a savory veggie. Okay. Tuna. Okay. Okay, so carrot didn't work. I'm just going to check. Oh, I know what I have to do. Ooh, Bitorama. Bacon and eggs. Hey, that's always good. Uh.
I'll bear back. I just need to use the washroom. All right. Now, before I plant anything there. Okay, I've got the tuna. And spoiler, yes, I had to look it up. That's a cow. We got to go there first anyway. And I'm going to go see that fucking cow. Oh. That's fine. I'm just looking. Tune if I need it. There. Mulberry. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna have to go back to Edgeboro after this. Well, I have to go back there anyway. I also need, I want to test some curiosity. Okay. Okay, I can't do that. you end up picking. That's wonderful. Ingrid is the born sire name she had. Those eyes, that face. She's perfect for this role. Hold it off. Superb last minute casting director. My regular shoes go on her honeymoon more often. This is her third in six years. This town. Things move fast, but back to our movie. So could find a director or a screenwriter. Everyone is booked up. Everyone is scared of what this picture will mean to the industry. we we'll have to keep spirit alive a little longer. Give you a call if we ever get this project out of development hell. Mm. Meantime, you know what they say about actors. They are cattle. Some, someone I know said that. You'll be my first call, madam. Don't forget. You got the face of a star. A star, I tell you. Thanks. Don't know what to do here. I'm on, I'm in fucking Nord Sea. I'm an idiot. Ugh, that hurts my brain. Nord Sea. And Nord, where is Nord Wheeler here? to do this the easy way.
Massive cabbage. I'm not. Lonberg. That's Nordweiler. Okay. For some reason, I thought Nord. Well, I had to go to Nord Sea Pier anyway. I had to finish that stupid thing. Let's see if I can get the cow. Yeah. XP potions. What the fuck? Then we'll take the bus stop back to Nordsea. Not Nordsea, Ed Edgeboro. Oh, wait, I should probably make a stop at uh, the South Point docks. I think that's the one I need. Yep. Here's bus. Okay. I'll head over here. Cause, and then we'll head over to uh, Edge. Well, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Sleepy cow. Travel. I went here because I want to go get that gold ore.
Bye, busman. in here. <coughs> oh. I'm getting sauerkraut and I'm getting yogurt. Yes! Sorry, in case you're wondering why I'm so happy, I got an olive seed. This is about the extent of my ability to play rhythm games. Away. Right, I'm gonna go sleep.
Yep. There we go. Morning. We're almost there. You like pancakes, right? Some milk. these nightmares. All these people at school were there. My mom and dad were there. Everyone kept shouting, fall, fall, fall. And I could only see the sky. There was wind in my hair. Then I woke up. I'm scared and I wake up. My bed is always wet. Mom doesn't like that. Burk? What's that? Is that? Fruits in it, doesn't it? Fruits are yucky. I have to do the dance, the dessert dance. I do it when I'm happy. Dessert time. Blueberry. Alright. <clears throat> if we can get that gold hour, I'd, I'd be very happy. Zinc, I believe. Ooh, hey. Okay, so I just need to hold left as long as possible. Come 
one, two, and just hold left. All right, we're back where we started. Scout, listen up. Place supposed to be a big shipment tonight. We just need to get into the warehouse and wait for your part. You see, you distract the guard. Cut the button. Big guy here will go ice the guard. It will be simple. Snatch your uniforms and resume the patrol route to blend in. Got it? Wait, you don't want to do it? Lost your edge, Scout. Might need to demote you. I met you. You had the eyes of a killer. Red with genuine anger. Beautiful. And you can't even give a few guards a run around. Well, shit. Guess we'll do the hard work ourselves. That's what we're great at. Getting our hands dirty. Scram, man. It's about to get messy. Says there's gold ore here. Do I just not have the thing for it? God damn it. All of them are not quite ready yet. Let's water these quick. I'm 
literally just waiting for the olives to sprout so I can may finally make the fucking tuna tahi. Taki. However you pronounce it. Okay. I was like, eh, might as well. I'm just like, come on, olives. I'm just staring at the olive tree like, come on, come on. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, got two obols. Up on the sheet music for the app. You're not a rock. I told you. I told them. Same song. Settling this argument. These so called music levels would leave us alone. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Fermenting's done. Hey, sauerkraut.
Eh, keep some milk on hand. Pork and egg. There we go. I'll do that well. And then I'll go to sleep. Oh my god, you've been here the entire time. Nothing to show? Try this. My husband's work thing. Maybe it'll work. Come here. Oh wow, David was the math teacher. Taught Chelsea High for 20 years. Met on a blind date. A new bachelor snatched up quickly in a small town. My friend Pauline matched us up. She was the school secretary. School would have been in shambles without her. She was the first to see him call me the second he was out of her sight. Bev, I just met the love of your life. How about that? She was right, to a point. I was the love of his life. He was gone too quickly to be the love of mine. I never met anyone as special as him. He had a warmth that I was never able to find again. Well, what are we looking at? Must be a formula or something. Never been that great at math. Neither have I. My brain gets confused with numbers. I have that in common with. She told me that she isn't great with. I'm just tired. I can feel it in my bones. Don't ever get old, Stella. It wouldn't suit you. Thank you. Let's get some sleep next to the Among Us figurines. Oh, bacon and eggs. Okay. I think I... I see olives. That's the yogurt. Cheese! Morning. Okay, you're good on. Okay. Well, I forgot to wake everyone up. Let me fix that. Okay, cook. First things first, albacore tuna. And some olives. Cook. Oh yeah, I should probably make Use the crusher for a few of those. Like some olive oil. Thank 
give you some cheese. Okay, it'll take a minute. Okay. Actually, I... Uh, the kids play here? Sure, I'll be there. Hey! Experimental theater piece? Tonight? What a treat. <laughs> Got a great idea. Now that you've found some volunteers, we just need to find a place for the play. Thing in that big city, Oxbury. All the light. All those buildings. It'd be awesome! Ooh, you made sushi? Oh, thank you. Yay. Oh, hi. I do enjoy being on this boat. Been wondering. Is it possible to build me a house? Remember the kids and David and I lived on a farm. We had nature all around. We had dogs and... It was a cozy little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. What am I saying? You've already done that for me. I was just testing you. <laughs> if you're quick on your feet, I can see you're still sharp. Which reminds me that I need to get my kitchen knife sharpened. That's just something my childhood friend Daryl didn't do. He was cutting vegetables one day, and just like that, blade bent, broke, and shattered all over the place. Mostly in his face. He had bandages on his face from all the cuts. His wife, Hannah, left him. Not because of the cuts, because he had a secret family two towns over. Oh, shit! That just goes to show you can't trust a man who doesn't sharpen his knives. Well, I'll... Er, I guess I'll go home. Lol. Alright, this should be it. Hey! Beep, beep, beep. Hey, what's up? Food. Yeah, some french fries. Come here. Oh, thanks. So good. Oh, hey, yogurt. Nom, 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 nom. Give, and I need to give you the tuna. Just need a place to eat now. I don't think it's the right place for a five course meal. What about the big city? Hummingburg. I am with this shrine and nice tables. Yep. At the defense, we're still not on town. I'll make it a nice spot. Let's head over there. Happy de Grenou. Hey, what's up? This is quite the vessel. At this point, it's essentially a sailing village. A real community. Do you, know, you remember Dana? Flower girl with the beautiful long red hair? You know, Dana! She went to the desert with some friends. They all followed this man with a long robe and silky hair around. They all called him Jimmy Jim. Which always sounded odd to me. Wasn't it, was Jimmy a diminutive of James? Was Jim his last name? Didn't really, just really didn't roll off the tongue. I think a cult leader would be better at coming up with names. Oh, it's supposed to be reference to Jim Jones. Danny kept telling me they were looking for some kind of new water. The water in cities was too tainted. Full of city sweat and bad omens. That they needed to find a better, cleaner source of water in the desert. She kept wanting me to come with them. Telling me this new water would heal everything. Their new community would be beautiful. Everyone in harmony with each other and nature. Well, it didn't take too long for everyone to be dehydrated. The well they dug lasted a few weeks and everyone started fighting over the water. I guess I just saying that I know you're busy. Got things to tend to. People to see. Places to be. I don't want to be a bother, but I'll just have to be. Think about a way to repay you for all that running around. Yeah, I've got a pretty good idea, but I'll, yeah, I need your help for the final touch. I'm talking to one of the people on this boat. I'm so bad with names. Well, new names. Can't seem to remember your passengers. Must be all the comings and goings. 
Well, they were saying the boat goes some. Sometimes the boat goes through a swarm of fireflies. Their bellies are somehow filled with fire glow seeds. Well, look at that. We already got some fire glow. No need for all that trouble then. Some beautiful, perfectly spicy fire glow. Oh, what the heck. Can't keep it a secret for much longer. Do you remember when you first moved into the building? I had been there for years. I sold the house a, f a few months after David died. Kids were heartbroken at first. They were never there. They just wanted their older rooms to stay perfectly intact, I suppose. Well, back to you. Your fridge broke on the first day. Poor thing. I could tell you were broke and couldn't afford takeout. Do you remember what happened? No. That's too bad. I made you soup. Not just any soup. My favorite soup in the whole wide world. It was lax laxa. It's the first thing I ate when I moved to the big city alone. I had moved here to be closer to my sister. It was quite the trip. It took a few days. Well, when I got here... Ariana from 32B invited me to dinner. Neighbors were friendlier back then. She served laksa. I had never tried it before, but I instantly fell in love. For a year straight, I must have invited myself to dinner at least once a week. Hopefully, I didn't overstay my welcome. Her family was so nice. In any case, spicy food became my ultimate friendship test. If you can stomach it, then you can stomach me. And you pass with flying colors. Couldn't help you with the fridge, but I could keep you fed. My gift to you is Ari Ariana's family recipe. I, could, I can't recreate it anymore. Well, that that's not true. I just believe that at my age, I've done enough cooking for a lifetime. It's time to let someone else take the reins. Yuka Kalaska, maybe we can share it. Just have to put fire glow and fire glow and that delicious powder of grain. Sorry about that. Must have slipped my mind. You'll have to figure it out, I suppose. I had Laksa in front of me. I could, I would remember. That'd be lovely. Aw. Okay. Well. We'll go here first, and then we're gonna head to Hummingbird because I want to do uh, a tools thing first. Then I want to take uh, what's her name? So, oh my God, Astrid to the Everett door. And then we'll do uh, Stanley's play. Wee woo, wee woo, hey, hey, Mixian. Yes. After. Yep. Giovanni has been taken to the Everdor. Astrid is going. And we're, uh, what, uh, Uncle Atoll wanted to do a big meal thing. I chose, uh, Astrid and, uh, Gustav for the people to go with, and Stanley wants to do a play. Actually, we might do the play first. Yeah. We're just, uh, gra- Oh, I've got a seller now, by the way. Where is, is that Oxbury? Yes. We'll actually do the play first. How have you been, Mixian? I feel like I need to rearrange like a bunch of my stuff. Oh, I have also got uh, Brucey and Mikey. It's Bruce and Mikey. I keep saying Brucey and Mikey. Darkest dungeon coding. I thought their coding was like 
made out of string cheese. I remember that's what uh, Retail was saying. Uh, yes, quite a few. We got Bruce, Mickey, Beverly. Uh, uh, Stanley. Let me just give me the cheese and give me the yogurt. I also made uh, Sir Shrumming because I threw some herring in there. Okay. Uh, Gustav. Hey, big hat. I'm so excited. It's gonna be the best. Are you ready to watch my play? Absolutely. Get ready. There is a girl with a big hat. She's tall. She runs around everywhere. She does everything. Amazing. <laughs> There's this big gate. It's huge. It's shiny. Where is it anyways? That girl knows. Because when you're ready, she takes you. And you leave with her. It's long. Everyone else is sad. Then, boom. Big lights. And a big rumble. Explosion. Wind. Dust. Smoke everywhere. Everything is quiet for a second. Then we don't get to see our friend again. That's when the real pain starts. The end. Thank you for coming. Thanks, Stanley. I didn't need my fucking heart today. Jesus. Oh, I guess he went to bed. I just, I'm sorry, the line of, and that's when the real pain starts when you don't see him again. It's like, ah, my heart. Fuck. Fuck you. Ta-da! That was amazing, right? I'm sure everyone liked it. Please, Della, go and ask around. But wait, wait, wait. Don't flat out ask about it. Don't make it too obvious. Be cool, big hat. <laughs> Have some yogurt. This is Beverly. You want to see something funny though? Watch this. I don't have bad dream. Yeah. It's all black when I close my eyes at night. When I wake up, I can only think of one thing. Yeah. Your big hat and your face smiling at me. I don't like to go to sleep, but I do now because I know I'll wake up and you'll be there. Watch this. Jumps on you. Let's give him some brekkie. Bacon and eggs. Breakfast! Exactly the same as before. Awesome! Yeah. That is Beverly. 
I knitted this for you earlier. It should keep you nice and warm if the ever, weather ever takes a winter. Aw, thank you. Okay, now we gotta go to Hummingbird. Where is Hummingbird? Yeah, there it is. All right. After we go to Hummingbird, are you ready for the for a fields train? Cause it's about to be choo choo, motherfucker, choo choo. Oh, hey, pears. Actually, hey. Yeah, it was fun. Reminds me of, when my, of what my kids put on each year. It's never good. But still, those younglings are fun to watch. Give me some cheese. Gustav, where are you, bruh? Where? Gustav. I did this drawing for you. Drawing up. What? Food. Where is Gustav? Before I go do the meal, I want to find areas. Hey, Gustav, I also need to feed you. Motherfucker. Come here. It reminded me of my college days. Those early naive experiments with the form of theater. Such a noble, vibrant art. Living art and performances are not my forte, but I definitely support the concept. That little fellow was technically awful, for sure. But his heart was in the right place. He's got that, at least. Come here. Come here. That was adorable. Um, uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Remember y'all in a little bit, it's about to be choo-choo, feels train. <laughs> What's up? Okay, I was... Really? Really? They all said they liked Really, really liked it? Are you sure, Big Hat? I don't know. Just not convinced. I can see it on your face. They told you they liked it, but it was not good. It was terrible, and I didn't do it right. I know, even if you try to hide it. I just can't do nothing right. I will never make another play. I hate it. I want to hug the little mushroom. Play was good. Let me get some more milk quick. Eat some corn. Stanley is just the life of an artist. I've been trying to feed you.
All right, let's go have this meal. Sprout. This looks great. I knew you would pull through. And everyone made it. Are you ready to eat? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for being gathered here. I couldn't have done it all alone. This feels like a real family dinner. You've all made me feel part of your family. Thank you. Food! And of course, Stella. My niece. Thank you. All right, I'll stop talking now. Just dig in. That was adorable. I, I just love that this thing is food. It's like, oh yeah, that, that's a pretty big mood. Yeah. I should probably clear these off now, finally. Jesus. There we go. All right, I'll get something cooking and then I'll head to bed. get some sleep and then the long trek to the ever what where's just have stand big hat where's your uncle big nice funny man he was so nice to me Uh, my time is quite valuable. However, notice a passenger is missing. What was his name? The bombastic friend of yours. Oh, well. Wait, what? What? No, 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 no. Oh, That's even worse! I don't... I don't get to send uncle at all. Oh my god, I fucking hate you, game. He's just gone. Because spirit flowers are what happened when... Spirit flowers are what happened when you send someone. We just got Uncle Atul's spirit flower. He doesn't go through the ever door. What the fuck? That's not fair. I need closure for this too, you fuckers. That is bullshit. Okay. All time for some more editing. Because. Is 
already up there, so. We don't get to send Uncle Atoll. Okay, and while we're going, we'll do some crystal glass. That is some bullshit! Oh, I need some zinc ingots. That is some bullshit. That that's not fair. That is the epitome of not fucking fair. He just, he's just gone. Hey, I've been trying, yeah, I was, yeah, I was trying to feed you the other, I can't feed you if you keep fucking off. You know, I don't know, he just left. Food. Come here. I know, I just how, like, why gone? Ate seafood and didn't like it. Hey, okay, did some good old cheese. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Ah, we finally arrived. I feel so weak. Can we go now? Yes. Let's do this. Let us head off. <clears throat> I don't think it's wise to live that long, Munchkin. Good thing I've never been that wise. But boy, am I old. Being this old is disappointing. You just end up being ugly on the outside. And rotten on the inside. And it hurts so much. Life is suffering. 
It is hard. The world is cursed. Still, you find reasons to keep on living. I don't regret a thing, you know. I don't regret the struggles. I don't regret the hardships, mm -hmm. the pain, the sorrow. And I've seen so much of it, but still, I don't regret what I've done or how I've lived my life. I just wish the world had been a better place, mm -hmm. a better place for them, for us, but surely a better place for you, my dear. I feel like a vast vessel with so many dusty rooms and cabins. I have so many of them. So many memories. Mm -hmm. Some of them are gone, but some of them... Some of them will live on forever. In you. In others. Mm -hmm. I remember their faces as they trembled in fear. I remember their houses and the parties they threw. I remember their songs and their love. Mm -hmm. I remember their touch, their warmth. It's all fading away now, Munchkin. It's fading away. Mm -hmm. It's all gray, all white, all foggy. Is it all gone already? I don't see much anymore. You're still here with me, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You're still here, Stella? Don't you forget about me, please. I don't care about anyone else. Mm -hmm. But you. You don't forget about me, I'm telling you. I'll come back and haunt you if you do. Mm -hmm. I can feel it coming. Goodbye, Stella. Just follow your heart and keep smiling. Goodbye, Astrid. So we say goodbye to Astrid. Talk to you in a second, Stanley. I just want to go grab the spirit quick. What's up? I've been thinking about my play how people didn't like it. It's okay. As mom says, they are entitled to their hope onion. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Okay, that's levity. Thank you for the levity, Stanley. Thank you for the levity. Their hope onion. Yes. Own opinion is now hope onion. It is canon. I'm not angry or sad anymore because of it. I guess there are things in life you can't really control, can you? Like, big hat? Oh, I don't think I can be here anymore. We should go to the Everdoor. Will you come with me? I think I'm scared. I don't think I like new places that much, but if you're with me, I think it will be all right. Fucking Christ. Hey game, do you just want to keep kicking me in the guts? G God damn it. Okay, we're...
Big hat. Go yet? You decide. Yeah. Let's end the stream with two send-offs and, you know, my heart and fucking tatters. I liked it when it was just you and me. Doing experiments and running around chasing dust shades. Don't forget to do that sometimes. I won't be there, but I'm sure it will still be fun. <clears throat> okay. People can be mean. Really mean. Why do they have to be? My mom is mean sometimes. It's like your friends after my play. And it makes me sad when people are mean. Sometimes I cry when I'm sad. But then I remember. I remember what my dad used to say. Stanley, people are not really mean. Sometimes their intentions just take the wrong path. I don't hate your friends. They're not bad people. That's what my dad would say. They just do bad things sometimes. I never wanted to let mom down. Or make people not like me. I don't want to do bad things. But sometimes I do. And I always regret it. I don't think that makes me bad. Do you think my mom will be disappointed in me? Disappointed that I had to go? I tried. I really tried. But I don't think I did it. I like it when I win. But I couldn't this time. I think it's okay. It's okay to lose sometimes. I really think it is. I'm really trying to be brave, but I'm, I'm really scared. I wish I could be a superhero and never be afraid. I've hoped so much that this was just a nightmare. If this is a nightmare, why can't I wake up? I was trying, trying and trying. I wanted to wake up. I always talk to myself. Stanley wants to wake up, but it never worked. I never woke up. It all felt so real, and it made me sad. So sad I couldn't think of anything other than sadness. You take care of Jacob, okay? Jacob is a good beetle, and he was my friend. This is exactly like in my play, but this time I am the lead actor. I will put on a good show, I promise. I feel strange. I feel cold. Wish mom was here. And dad. You are here, big hat. I really like you. Hope it's like falling asleep. Bye, Stanley.
Holy. Okay. Holy, okay game, like, is it just like overhand feels after feels after feels? Jesus, okay, I'm, I'm okay, whoo, that was fucking intense. I talk to them. Go to Albert's. No, I think that's. Have you ever had a fermented delicacy? There's only one right answer, and that should be yes. Simply brilliant. Pure creation of the Nordic culinary arts at its finest. Especially around of a particular dress called surstrumming. I'm considered my absolute favorite. They say the best thing in life always takes time. Oh, well, aren't you are in luck, sir. Come here, come here, come here, come here. God damn it. Really? You're a fan of, uh, surstrumming? Oh, my goodness. I never would have thought possible to sink my teeth in. Into this extraordinary, extraordinary delight again. Silly, you did, did yourself. Simply brilliant. Sustrumming is not for the weak will. No, it's fucking horrific. Uh -huh. Not for the faint hearted, but for me, it definitely is. I could eat two buckets of it. Come here. I need a hug. Mm. Be right back. I just need to use the washroom. Oh, I forgot to mute my mic. My apologies. Okay, I need a uh, crystal glass. Okay. We'll get the mist cleaner and then we'll call the stream.
I'll put something cooking while it does that. Actually. I just like how it said no. Okay. I think I need one more after this, so I need two more in total. Milk you in a second. I'll just get this last one started. that in a sec. I just want to get something fermenting. Ah, damn it. Okay, got what I need. Okay. Well, well, well. Looks like someone can't keep her crew happy. Little Breeder told me you don't even have a guest house. What kind of ship are you running there? Where does your crew sleep? On the deck? Water splashing all over? The seagulls pecking at their hands? No, no, no. I don't want to hear your excuses. You need to get your ducks in order. If you don't build them a guest's house, they might mutiny. I've seen it happen to better captains than you. One captain fell overboard with a pick sticking out of his back. The fall didn't do him. The piranha surely did. Good talk. Here we go. Thank you. If there's a mirror in that cellar of yours, because it's looking good. -a. Welcome back to the shipyard cellar. Get the last piece we need. A 
Now the mist clear. Gray mist. And that's Crow's End. Oh. Nothing else. I'm going to save and quit. Okay. Okay. This was a long one, and this was emotionally a kick in the teeth. But thank you all for being here. It's always a joy to play Spirit Fair. Hello everyone, welcome to another late night, another late night episode of Radio Achievements with me, your humble host. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all doing fine, and I hope you're all ready for some more Spirit Fairer. Okay. And single player. And we had just gotten the Mist Cleaner 1000. So, hopefully. And I think we needed to go to Grey Mist Peaks. Okay. Hey, what's up? Francis says... A lucky day. How lucky you must be. Mm -hmm. A new Aaron. Fresh off the press. Let's see what you got. I'm not selling that. And diorama and mint collectible. I'm keeping that because I might need cows. Okay. Alright, little butt perks. Oh, no, 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 shit. Ah, uh, you know what? Alright, let's, uh... Figure what we we're doing. Gray Mist, Maximus, Kalak, and Kakalaxa. Alright, well, first things first, though. We gotta get going. Okay, we're at the shipyard. And. Uh, Bob. Anything on the way that I need or want? So we're going safe, and we are traveling to Grey Mess. See ya! See ya, Francis. Do I have an, do I have fire glow? I do. Okay. Actually, have I fit you today? Yeah, you're fine. I need to milk the cow. Nope, you're good. I don't. I don't want to hear a total theme because I'll just get sad. So I need to actually, because I think that's fermenting into yogurt.
Oh, thank you. Actually, uh... Okay, I need pine, and I need... Ooh, what do I need for electrum sheets? Uh, oh yeah, that's gold. My next big one is gold ingots and gold ore. And that's just money. No shenanigans. And uh, I will do the laxa after this one's done. Because if I, if I recall correctly, I... Oops. I do have the fire glow. Yeah, okay, I got fire glow. And it says some sort of rice. So I'm guessing like rice grain. Be my best bet. Fighty bastard. Come on. Damn it. I think I'm almost there. Cobbler. Hey, what's up? Back home, no one ever lets him start like this. Sushi. Gimme. Ooh, that's a lot of yogurt. Good. I 
Everyone feels bullied by Mikey. Oh, olives. Hey, okay, let's head. Would you look at that? This is what I'm talking about. The open air. Breathe it in, Scout. That's the good stuff. This reminds me. You should have these. Mikey says he doesn't want his. You can have mine too. We don't need them anymore. Listen, I think we need to rethink your role in our organization. Mikey doesn't mind, I'm gonna need you to run point on some things. You would have a more involved role if you know what I mean. I'll fill you in when we get when we get that to the boat. Go do your thing. You burned. We'll hang back. Oh shit. Oh hey. Onion, tomato, garlic, peach. Garlic's always a good thing to have. I was like, I can't move. This is terrible. I don't even know how to go back. somewhere. Nope. Alright, this is a little offshoot. Ah, oh, dang it. I've planned this guy's sightseeing trip for years, but after I set up camp I realized my perfect behavior prevents me from looking left. Mm -hmm. What a dumb mistake. Tell me, does the guys look as impressive as it sounds? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why did you tell me not even matter? I can't see it. There we go. One, two.
Oh, I see. Feels like there's more here. Up, 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 up. I was like, I knew I was missing something. Pilgrimage is over. Oh, what an incredibly single-minded, persistent journey this must have been. You'll finally reach the holy shrine of Saint Dacius. Thousands of years ago, Saint Dacius anointed the statue. Anointed the statue. He foretold that one day, Dacius's chosen will, will be bestowed with his blessing. They will rescue all of us from the tyranny of this existence. Oh, but surely you already know that. Why else would you have come all this way? I'll leave you to your prayers. Blessings of Saint Dacius upon you. Oh shit! Hey! Oh, I see. We. Anything else? Oh, ah. See if I can make it there. Almost, so I think I can. Ah. Oh, you could do that mid? Oh shit. I Oh. You're pilgrim man. Wait, how did you get up here? Oh no. 
talked to other idiot, have you not? I'm sure you filled your head with all of his false idols nonsense. That one is dangerous, let me tell you. But he got you to make an offering to his phony shrine, didn't he? In your eyes, sheeple. This is the real shrine of our holy Saint Dacia. See its grandeur. See its geometric perfection. Yes, yes, make an offering here and a real blessing awaits you. What do you think? Only two opals. Ah, uh, hmm. You know what? Fuck it. Mm. Oh ye almighty dashes, bless this girl with your most powerful blessing. Mm. Oh shit! Well, that's awkward. Mm. Swear it never happened. Alright, I'll give you this. Mm. Just promise you won't tell anybody. Oh shit! I have three ovals! head back. Give me some food. Aw. Head back. I will talk to you in just a moment. What? Okay. Uh, I will check the recipe book after. Like I was saying, you're going to need to step up in our organization. Operation is ever going to survive. We need to pull a big one, a big score. I was planning this job with my brother for a while. He doesn't want to do it now. I need you to step in and help out. So listen, here's the take. I need you to stock up on carrots. Yeah, that's right. You heard me, carrots. I'm not talking about a few. I'm talking about a shitload of carrots. The thing we need for this job. If that doesn't make sense to you. That's too bad. You don't need to know everything. Why I call the shots. Well, first thing, first time. I think. She wants a lock. Yeah. 
Can you give me the recipe? I th oh, I think I might need rice flour? figure out where we're going so I need a boatload of carrots Grab that rice flour. Oh, geez. I hope. Garlic going. That's what I was looking for. Okay, I'll look at the obscure canopy. Ooh, got some there. First thing first, I'm gonna see. I'm only doing them one at a time just because it's like I don't know what it needs specifically. I'm gonna grab the olives. I should probably milk the cow. Oh, and you're probably fucking starving. I'm sorry. yourself. Okay, let's see what's on the obscure canopy. Or canopy. Or can I? Interesting. Wait, oh, oh shit, is that pine? Excellent. <laughs> if I can get that in gold or I'm, I'm... Hey! You stop. 
Good for you, youngster. Berries, my name. I was on a hike looking for berries, but there's nothing here. Which is odd. Berries grow almost everywhere. When I walk, I always stop to pick up berries. I always leave some. Animals need to eat too. I'm on the older side of life and I have time to take hikes. Walk around in the woods. However, my feet grow tired easily. My legs aren't what they used to be. I could run after shoplifters. I could run a marathon. I could run for days. Now I just eat berries and enjoy the sun. Long story short, would you find me some berries? I like only three kinds. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. The other ones are too wild for my taste buds. Mm. I'll see you soon, youngster. Have a berry day. Mm. Don't forget, I like berries. Good kind. Don't go forget now. Don't I have those? Did I use a bulb? It's a possibility. gonna be like daffodil oh leave me alone please need my fresh air okay see ya Incredibly useful. There you go. I was like, hey. You got all the spices right. It smells amazing. All right, let me give it a try. My stomach's basically a hot pepper at this point. I can handle it. Just the right kind of tongue burning. I mean, that's incredible. You haven't lost your way around the kitchen. Wow. I can feel my sinuses clearing. Thank you, sweet pea. I suppose I got carried away a bit there. Sorry, there isn't any left for you. Don't you worry, I'll make it up to you. I know, I know, this was supposed to be a treat for you as well. Next time. Well then. Do you have a minute? Like I was saying, I've been having this dream. Don't worry, I'm not a monster. I won't start telling you my dreams. Well, maybe a little. So in my dream, I was using a projector in the archive room B2522. And I was transported inside the images. The first image was... Let's see. Oh, I remember. We went sightseeing in the city. Rented an apartment for the whole family. It was so luxurious. We had the whole week planned out. Museums, parks, restaurants. Obviously, Henry got sick on the first day. I remember staying by his side, knitting. The only thing he was able to do was draw. Poor thing. He was really obsessed with this cartoon show back then. Probably just giant robots and men in tights. The apartment was somewhere in old central district. It supposed to be our home away from home. For a week at least. And the whole time I was eating a giant bag of sweet corn. That's dreams for you. 
They're always a bit foggy. Hopefully if we find that is Tate, it will jog my memory a bit more. Thanks again, sweet pea. You're a lifesaver. What the hell? Oh, I got that. Aww. Oh. Oh. Take a little breather and resting my leg. Sure. Oh. Look at that. It's not a giant robot. That's me. I look so young. Oh, wow. He was drawing me knitting on that chair. Oh, Henry. Growing up made, made such a sweetheart out of him. Before that, he was a little monster. Kind of kid who's noisy when the show is on, but calm during the commercials. One day, he just calmed down. It was strange. Overnight, he became his dad. Brilliant and quiet. Real quiet. He just retreated into his thoughts. One odd thing to do. Is to think in your head at night? To... Hmm. Dream. Yeah, dream about it. You want carrots of the yin yang. Do I need to water the garlic? No, it's good. Here we go. Oh, of course. I know exactly what to give you. Have some sir strumming. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Okay. You want acquired taste stuff. Uh -huh. Hmm. I need pine plants. And I can. What's up? Ooh! Alright, uh, we're actually gonna head over to, uh. What's her face? Died. That's Nordweiler. Ah, Susan. I, I, I'm just going straight there. Okay, I'll get like ten. I can get uh, ten gold ingots. And I'd still be good. I can still get a bunch of planks. Uh, this is just a weird combo, and you know what? I'll give it a shot. Let's see what it is. And it's fast, so... English tea. Hey. Haven't had a good tea in a while. Actually, let's get something that's gonna have a long ass cook time. Okay.
Okay. Go five and five. Because that way I still hold on to. So I'm very glad I have the foundry upgrade. Ten gold ingots. That's actually inc Oh my god, if he needed a gold ore, I'm gonna be so annoyed with myself. Crystal glass, rose gold. do all of those. I might as well get all of his stuff done. Crystal glass and rose gold and we are good to go. Again, I might need to restart my computer after this stream. Ah, dang it. Jesus. Go. Yep. Let me water the carrots. And then we need to cut like five logs. I could just remember where I put the feckin' sawmill. There it is. Perfect cuts. Yeah. Let 
me check all the improvements I need. Okay, for you. Done. Hey. You're done. I've already got that upgrade. There's no, don't have that upgrade. I have that upgrade. That one. I haven't found the smithy upgrade. Uh, oh. Okay. Sorry, I was scratching my nose. It is it's gonna say god damn the garlic's already ready to come up get some sugar cane down here water it and if it's still time I'll probably head to bed or I'll start fishing Oh, my fermentation's done. Yep. What's up? Uh -huh. There you are. <clears throat> it is with great pride and unbridled joy that I present to you uh -huh. humanity's legacy, my finest exhibition yet. Not too bad, don't you think? Unofficial opening? Oh, no, no, no. You know how I am. The spotlight is not for me. And besides, the Varen Sages are a waste of time. Uh -huh. Nothing but an opportunity for officials to run around, licking each other's... Well, you know what I mean. Uh -huh. Well then, I entrust all of this to your good care. I know I can trust you after I'm gone. Uh -huh. Oh, don't act surprised. You very... Well, no, I'm not one day around longer than necessary and I'm pretty confident I'm done all I could here uh -huh. good old Gustav always looking ahead but it was quite exhilarating this whole endeavor wasn't it uh -huh. well as soon as we pass by the ever door be a love and drop me off it will be appreciated hey all right looks like we're taking Gustav to the ever door I will talk to you in just a moment. I'll take all the carrot seeds you give me. Ah, frittatas. I do enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering, would it be possible to build me a house? You remember the kids and David and I lived on a farm. We had nature all around. 
We had dogs and goats. It's a cozy little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. Oh, my little farmhouse. That's right. It's right there. Well, a job well done once again. Not everyone is good with houses. Uh, let's get you some food. Peach cobbler? Hey. Come here. Alright, alright. Don't tell anyone. Oh, I thought they wanted to talk to me. Oh, that might have been for an event. Oh, there you are. I know what I wanted to tell you. The man from my town was one of the two real estate agents around. He had just started and wanted to make an impression. He had a giant mustache and was always wearing a tuxedo. It was quite odd. Anyway, it turns out that he couldn't sell a house to save his life, but he was the lead salesperson in the district for two years straight. Local paper, paper did a big story on him. Found that his wife was buying up all the property. She had like 20 houses in her name. The whole neighborhood was nearly empty. She could afford it. Her dad had struck rich in oil. This goes to show you, can't judge a by his... Aw. Well then. No. I was like, no. There we go. I will talk to you in just a moment, Gustav, because I need all these carrots. I know what I'll give you. Oh, oh, the humiliation. Stella, I'm just absolutely livid. You wouldn't believe what just happened. Some no good foul mouth. Miss Grant had the, uh, just, just had the audacity to call me, I can't even say, an art collector. Uh -huh. Completely, utterly unacceptable. Who? I won't tell you. I'm a man of honor, of principles. Certainly not a petty tattletale. Art collector. As if I were one of those base mercantile creatures. What an insult. Uh -huh. Narrow-minded fool, I am no art collector. I am a curator. I do not amass, evaluate, weigh, or risk. Uh -huh. I do not trade. I protect. I alone ensure the legacy of humanity's greatest achievements. Uh -huh. What? Overreacting. Have you gone mad? I thought it better of you, Stella. Uh -huh. Then again, perhaps crude sensitivities need to be cultivated. And perhaps that is also the essential role of the curator. Uh -huh. As usual, you get me thinking, Skipper. Maybe I'll cool down just a bit. Some good may yet come of this. Well, I'm gonna give you some surf strumming, so you're gonna be happy. Uh -huh. Another beautiful surf strumming. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, come on, the job wasn't carrots. You. Peaches. Who wants stupid carrots? Like, I would use carrots for this job. That's stupid. Gotta fix this mistake. Quickly. This job depends on peaches. Lots of. Them. Go now. Motherfucker. Alright. What is your problem? You ruined this whole operation. This buyer is very specific about car host cargo. What am I gonna do with carrots and peaches? You're the worst partner I've ever had. 
can't even get a simple order straight. My brother would never mess up like this. I don't think this is going to work out. Let's go. You weren't ready to step up. I shouldn't have trusted you. Ah, shit. Listen, let's go. I know a place. It's called the Everdoor. We should go now. Oh, shit. All right. Okay, we're losing Gustav and Mikey. Oh, hey, what's up? Psst. Sweet pea. Probably wondering where I've been lately. I've been hiding out in my house. I didn't want to come out. Just like in a small town, word gets around. And then... The gossip starts. My walls are not that thick. I can still hear people talking. Talking about me. That's this kind of thing. Unwarranted gossip, I mean. It happened all the time back in town. People don't seem to change. One of my good friends was always the nicest to me. She would always praise my hairstyle or the way I dress. Compliments were always coming. And this was when I had just lost my brother. I remember I told you a story about that sudden brain aneurysm. Poor thing. Taking the dog for a walk, then poof! On the ground. Well, it was around that time. One day I was at her house for a garden party and we had to leave early. My husband wasn't feeling too well. Too many cocktails. He was such a lightweight. Well, we left quite suddenly, but I had forgotten my purse. Came back not... Fifty minutes later from the sidewalk I could hear. Well, she was talking behind my back. Talking about how I wore the dress, same dress to two parties in a row. She said it in a very offhanded way. Like she was stating a fact. Everyone knows that. She should know better than. That's what I remember. The way it made me feel. I didn't like it. That's how I feel now. Nobody likes to be kicked when they're down. I'm feeling like I'm losing my mind. Top of that, other people on the boat have been talking about me behind my back. I don't want to put you yourself in a delicate situation, but could you help? Maybe do the rounds and see for yourself what is going on? I would appreciate it. Thank you, sweet pea. Well, okay, sure. That... What, old Bev behind her back? Nah. Never seen nothing about nobody. We ain't about to go and snitch. As a golden rule, you gotta treat your elders with respect. Family is everything. Where's good stuff? Gossip, you say? About Beverly? Well, Stella, while well, bad-mouthing and hearsay are sadly deeply rooted parasites of the artistic world, let me reassure you, I will not, do not, never did partake in any of them. Uh -huh. Besides, I'm far too busy with my endeavors. Sweet pea. I didn't sleep well last night. My back was killing. What are you doing? Are you busy right now? No. I didn't ask you to do that. I haven't been talking to anyone. Have people been talking behind my back? I don't think they would have the time to form an opinion of me. Are you sure I asked you to do that? Yes. That sounds like something you would do on your own. I might go introduce myself now. Hopefully you haven't ruined my reputation by now. Oh, sweet pea. Always trying to help out. <laughs> you asked me to, you! Yeah. <laughs> you know, we need some 
more sunflower seeds. Okay, well, let's go talk to Susan. Congratulations, you're halfway through catching and asphyxiating half of the fish types in the world. Are you also cooking them afterwards? Mm -hmm. Serving them to your passenger? This is... Ugh, I don't want to think about that. Take this and see if... Oh, great. You were slaying fish left and right. I was doing something important. No, I'm not telling you. Break my sacred oath as a collector. Duty bound to take that secret to the great beyond. Leave my island. Mm. What do you want? It's ingots now. Oh, that's just great. I can't wait for you to smell new ingots. I'm kidding. I care for a second. Wish you'd smell that boat of yours down. Go away now. Take this. What do we have here? Is that food? Is that a dish? Can I cook something on that boat of yours? Are you a chef? Do you even have any cookbooks? The red light does everything for me. That's your answer for everything. Special kind of spe people you spirit fed Because that ever light, you think you're so great. You don't know what it is to actually work. I'm even taking my precious time to talk to you. Here it is. Remember, practice makes perfect. Not that you would ever know that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Excellent. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, we can upgrade the smithy. Which I will actually do right now. Never mind, that requires XP potions. <laughs> yeah. To make those. Alright. Looks like we're gonna sleep and then we're heading to the Eberdor. enjoy being on this boat. I've been wondering, would it be possible to build me a house? You remember the kids and David and I lived on a farm. We had nature all around. We had dogs and goats. It was a cozy little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. Oh. Look, Stella, I know you know something's not right with me. With my memory, with how I can think about things, I I can't think the way I used to anymore. It's really hard. But you're here, and it helps. You know what? Don't worry about it. 
Right, so, I did remember more of that dream I was telling you about the other day. Oh. You know, the one with the projector and the sweet corn? That's right. The one I was looking at my dad's old film negative. It's from when he was stationed in Europe. I don't remember where exactly. He never really talked about his experiences. He probably was my complete opposite. He did mention seeing some beautiful houses. He always said we should have built our house in that style. What was the name of that place? Nordweiler? That sounds right. Hopefully if you find that as Ted, it will help me remember a bit more. Oh, and take this. I'm sure it will come in handy. Thanks again, sweet pea. Okay. We'll hit up that. We'll plant the gold ore and some pine. Mainly the pine to be completely honest. Alright. And then after this. I'm hungry. Have some peach cobbler. Come here. Oh. Hey. Fire glow. Probably. Ah, God damn it. I heard the cow mooing, so I might need to milk them. I would be correct. How do I make an XP potion? earlier to keep you nice and warm if the weather ever takes a turn for the work. Aw, thank you. Alright, well. Don't need the carrots. I got anything cooking? Nope. I should have something. Do a full round of gold. I don't think I need any more pine planks. I'm curious how you make an extra potion.
Okay, ow. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, okay, and then I gotta take a couple to the upper door. In the mist area, just clear it up. Oh yeah, I've still never been to the square. I believe the map is fully open to me now. Go to like Crow's End. I do need to. Okay, Nord Wheeler is top right. Okay, we'll go there after. So Nord Wheeler, ever. Uh, Masha. Uh, the Everdor, and then Nordwheeler. Peaches. Hi. See you in a moment. I just need to go to the upper door twice. Beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. I'll make one, I'll make one uh, celestial sheet. Is <laughs> all right. I'll do this, and then it's the Everdoor, and then it's a long boat ride to Nordwheeler. There we 
go. Now. I'll take you first. We need to talk. I've been... You know how I've been. Wanna go somewhere? Yeah. Alright. Alright. There's only three on the boat, and soon there will only be one. Hmm? Listen, let's just get it on. I can't do this job without my brother. Let's just get on and talk it through. I didn't plan this life for me and my brother. They used to call me the talker. I could talk your ear off. I would never shut up. However, right now, I don't want to talk. I should just be like my brother and take a moment. Pause and listen. Yeah and think for a change. Fat chance. I mage, nothing is possible. Nobody changes. Anybody that tells you otherwise is lying. Or trying to sell you something. The only thing I'd rather be is true to myself. That might make, might make me an asshole in the end. That might, me, that might make me a loyal brother to this man here. None of this shit matters. None of it. Do you know why we're here? It's because I have a small imagination. I can't see beyond my back streets, my town, my friends, my family. More importantly, I can't see a life beyond my brother. If he goes, I go. Funny thing is, he went a long time ago. I just didn't want to admit it to myself. I was holding on to something from the past. My reputation. My house. My car. Whatever it was. It was nice while it lasted. It just doesn't change anything. Anyway you slice it, we're still Maria's kids from South Broad. Nothing's ever gonna change. Not even in the end. All right, Mickey. Deep breaths. Let's go see what everyone has been raving about. I'll send you a postcard, kid. Goodbye, Bruce. Goodbye, Mikey. Oh shit.
more of Stella's memories. Sorry, I just looked like they were in a hospital. Foretold, here we are again, Spirit Fairer. For the last time. Feeble and helpless, a faint murmur drifting in silence. Whispered words, a simple question. Why did you choose this life, Stella? Why did you spend it ushering others through their final moments? Was your vocation an affectionate duty born of compassion? Or a display of selfishness, of everlasting uncertainty? Did you do it for them? Or for yourself? To know me and grow accustomed to my presence? To conquer me? Am I less daunting to you now? Or am I still a ghastly shadow, a deafening absence? Remember, when your body failed, you knew. You'd seen it a thousand times. You knew I would come. You fought valiantly, yet suffered all the same. I was deep within your heart, as I had always been. In your final moments, you accept my call. You slowly draw your last breath. And here we are. You know this is the end, but you're not alone. Embraced by the love of your mother. And now, your sister. She is here, holding your hand. Go now, you are not alone. Have your final conversation with Hades. Oh, up. Uh. I know, I know. I'm late. I couldn't get off work earlier. Parking in this part of the town is mess. It's a mess. And this place, it's a maze. Listen to me. I'm going on about the parking. And look, look at you. Are you awake? How are you holding on? Can you hear me, sis? Wow, that hit hard.
Can you say Lily is my favorite sister for me? Well, it's true. I'm your only sister, so you don't have a choice there. I wish I could hear your voice. I'd rather have you screaming, Lily, get out of my room. I'd rather have you laughing. I'd even rather have you snoring. Let me come a bit closer. Mom's asleep. It's late, I know. Jeez, I'm two hours late. Sorry again. No wonder mom's passed out. Oh, I have a surprise for you. I swung by the house yesterday and got some things. Well, two things. First, where is it? There we are. Voila! Bottle of single malt from mom's secret stash. Don't worry, I'll do the drinking and the talking for both of us. And this? Your photo album. It's got some good ones. Cute baby pictures. Big family gatherings. Embarrassing college parties. The works. Let's start at the beginning. Stella, the adorable baby. Jeez, being this cute should be illegal. Give me a second, I'll pour myself a drink. Oh, look at this one. You're so tiny. Where was this taken? What does it say on the back of the picture? Komar Alsace, 1973. Oh, okay. Okay, wow. Sorry, that, that one hit hard. Like, wow. Is Is Stella dying? Is Is this all like a fever dream? Is this all like Stella's last moment? Still work to do. Um, a something you might like. Thank you. Milk and egg. You're bitching.
Excellent. Okay, I'll head back to them, and then I'll head back. Ooh. I wasn't expecting that to hit, like, Lily or whatever. I wasn't expecting that to hit me so hard. Like, Jesus Christ. I'm really glad I looked over. It's like, oh no, I haven't been muted this entire time because that would completely spoil, like, that That would take away from the emotional impact very hard. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah, I couldn't I couldn't put the pulsar in here. Back to the Everdoor. I need two electrum sheets and three more gold ingots. Hey, scrambled eggs. Uh -huh. 
I gather you're ready to take me away. Very well. Onwards. seems to me you were quite surprised by my request to leave and it seems to me you still are but you have to understand Stella uh -huh. that everything is but a meaningless arrangement of atoms everything you've ever known seen or experienced fortuitous circumstances uh -huh. in the in the universal chaos humanity emerged at a tiny bit more purposeful than the rest but with an incredible faculty. That of creating meaning, however fleeting it might be. I have no inherent meaning, neither do you. But we can create, organize, put in order, and thus create purpose and meaning. Transcend the primordial chaos. All of humankind does so. We create machines that are useful to take control. Machines like a chair, the one that subsumed me. But maybe also that made me truly realize what impermanence means. For our numerous creations only have meaning as long as they're useful. And when finally they are unneeded, once again do they turn to heaps of metal and wood and bones melted back into the universal chaos, Strip of the, stripped of their inherent humanity, uh -huh. and our bodies and all our minds in a similar fashion. I do not yet know what to do about this. Uh -huh. Usefulness is an easy, full, easy way to meaningfulness, but not a trustworthy one. It vanishes as quickly as we do. Uh -huh. And it seems our only hope for humanity has... It seems the only hope for hu hope humanity has for transcendence is through art. Meaningfulness pulled from our chaotic minds. Not for utility, uh -huh. but for its own sake. And after the artist has been long gone, turned to dust, uh -huh. the art remains. And even after the last one of all humans... Will have returned to the primordial chaos. Uh -huh. Provided that we have protected it, art will remain. Uh -huh. And so it is that art alone is left in our wake. The only veritable form of transcendence to ever have been in our grasp. Proof of our existence and of our pitiful efforts to raise from the, the chaos. Uh -huh. As would some unknown script from a long gone power. Oh, we're here. Well, well, now, Stella. Ozymandias beckons. Let's go. Um.
Goodbye, Gustav. See, I can't. Okay, I need two electric sheets. Gonna do that, then I'm gonna <sighs> head to Nord. Head to Nordweiler. But after I uh, hit up Albert, because might as well get the upgrades while I can. I'm gonna go take care of the cow. Yeah, well, the buyers, I can take care of the cow quick because mowing. Mowing equals milk. That's just a... Oh, it's a permanent hug. She only appears at night. Then we'll hit up Albert. Grab these, feed the chickens. Actually, grab the eggs. Then feed the chickens. Okay. 
Get her in Beverly. Dude, she's probably hungry. Bev? Okay, I'm already at the right amount of Bev. Questionable meal. <laughs> And then we'll head to the boat and the the bus stop and we'll uh we'll take it to uh the closest one to Nordweiler. And uh let's do a quick little bit of fishing. mother had a Koopa on her childhood farm. Oh, my mother. She was mad at me when I did bad things. She was disappointed in me. I suppose I wasn't what I cracked up to be. Okay. That's everything. Shit. 
rose gold, and 25 XP potions. It's gonna be frickin' screaming along. Where is Nordweiler? You know what? We're going. I didn't even look, damn it. We'll go there. Okay, I was like, wait, crap, I forgot I was supposed to do the bus. Wow. Grab that. My biggest, the biggest stop gap right now is the XP potions. Like, I don't know where to get them, where to start them, anything. Okay, well. some space. What's there? What do you got? Travel. And then we have to, after this one, we have to go to Hummingbird. <laughs> Wish I could find my key. Strasbourg, 
There you go, that was easy. Really, the hummingbird is like... Yeah, it was like... First town. What is that? That view. I love the look of these houses. They are so beautiful. My father was obsessed with architecture. He was a veteran. He went overseas and fell in love with the buildings. Even on the battlefield, he carried his film camera around his neck. He would always be taking pictures. Can you believe that? Despite all the violence and carnage, he found beauty. Seeing those buildings fall left quite the impact on him. He didn't talk about it much. The war, I mean. Architecture became more than a... He talked about that all the time. Did I ever tell you that I lost my purse with my address book and my mother's brooch? I don't think so. Well, that purse had that photograph inside. I would take it out from... Hmm. Let me take a little break. Sure. Alright, I'm here, I need night time. Oh, I see. It has to be, it, they said it was at the shrine. Omar visited Toll's house. Wow, the whole family is there. Except me. Look at Uncle Atoll. At the grill, obviously. Look at your face. You're covered from head to toe in barbecue sauce. And it's adorable. Oh yeah, she's in a high chair. Mom is beaming. She's young, but so tired. Look at her eyes. Those are the eyes of someone who's not sleeping. Nice job, Stella. Keeping mom awake all night with your baby tears. I'm actually happy mom's sleeping right now. She needs the rest. Plus, I get to talk to you all alone. And have a drink. Alright, let's turn to another page. Something from the middle. Another picture when we were living in France. When is in this one? We're riding our bikes together. You and Gwen would always outpace me. Leaving me behind. I guess no one wants their friend's little sister running around them. When I was young, I admired her so much. Remember, she would disappear for months on end and show up out of nowhere. I thought she was so bold and amazing. Mom and Dad loved her. She was some kind of parent whisperer. I guess our home felt like her home. Oh, there's a postcard on the next page. 
It's from Japan. <laughs> Photogawa. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ah! Hey, Stella, I can feel it in my bones. The season is about to change. We should take a look at the flowers. You don't remember? When we were neighbors, we had these beautiful red anemones in our garden. You looked so surprised when they would bloom each springtime. I'm sorry, Daffodil, and the thing is killing this fucking... Okay, oh, there we go. You probably thought... It was magic or something. You how you had the look of how did they survive all winter? Well, flowers are resilient. They remember that they want to grow. To see the sunlight. To feel its warmth. That's what I like most about you, sweet pea. You're always the brightest part of my day. I'm glad we were neighbors. Neighbors. Okay, well, let's uh, set up uh, heading to Kurogawa. Wait, is that? Oh shit, can we just go now? Because I thought it would have said by now, like, it's too dark to navigate. Oh, I need to remember to milk the cow in the morning. Salad. I haven't had that in a long time. Let's have some corn. Hey, you! I can feel it in my bones. The weather is changing. You should take a look at the flowers. You don't remember? When we were neighbors, we had these beautiful flowers. You looked so surprised when they would grow. Probably thought, well, I'm not sure. Flowers are strong. They remember that they want to grow. Feel the sun. That's what I like most about you. You're always there. Glad we were neighbors, maybe. You would find me. Find a new place for me to live. It's time. Okay. There we go. F 
Furugawa can wait. Gotta make a bunch of olive oil. Yeah, it's just brown sugar. Be right back. I just need to use the washroom quickly. All right, I have returned. Bring her to the ever door.
just like Trying to bring them to the other door. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna take the bus and uh, head up to Furugawa. Are they like... Are they like stuck in an idle animation? Good, I guess she's not ready to go. So. Alright, up to Furugawa. It's like, fine. You, I went to the ever door. You, you wouldn't move, so. I, I know I can't do it quite yet. I just want to, there says there's like a rare chest.
Okay, I guess I did get everything. Alright, it's almost night time, so... This photo I'll make sh sure makes you look well traveled, sis. Listen up, because I'm going to read your embarrassing postcard. Ah, uh, let me find my famous cello voice. One second. Dear Mom, Dad, and Lily, my trip has been amazing so far. I'm even making friends. What a boring thing to say. At this rate, the, the summer vacation will be gone in a flash. Last weekend. I went to Shirakawago in the Toyama Prefecture. I took a tour to visit these beautiful rice paddies. It was an impressive sight. Next to these incredible houses at the bottom of the mountains. It was especially beautiful at night with the glow of the moon. Oh Stella, you perv. He's an art curator from Germany. He's creating an art ex exhibition in Nagasaki. The tour was in Japanese, so he helped me with some of the nuances. Huh. He even gave me his address and invited me to his show. I miss you all. And I can't wait for you to visit me in a few months. Stella. P.S. Stay out of my room, Lily. I didn't. Huh. Wow. You were so outgoing. I don't ever remember ever being like that. So full of life. It was always a bit dramatic, let's say. I wonder if you went to see Gustav's exhibition. That was his name, right? He never got to go on that trip to see you. Dad got sick around that time. He had trouble walking. His body was swelling and everything hurt him. I never understood why they kept it from you. They probably knew you'd come back as soon as they told you to take care of him. I got to see Dad get sicker and sicker. I wasn't able to do anything to help. I still remember your face when you got home. For a second it was like you didn't recognize him. Let's keep going. It's not like you ever shied away from death. You basically made it your whole world. I'm sure you've got some pictures of when you move to Montreal. Let's take a look. Oxbury. There was one above that. Okay, well, now that I know. Oh, I overshot it. Fish curry. Yeah. Right. Let's head back over here and head to the ever. We're gonna try to hit up the ever door again.
Remember? Remember those flowers? I can't. I think it's time. Time for me to admit it. I can't go on any longer. You know where you need to go, neighbor? No. I remember. Do you? The neighborhood? We we were there with the the flowers. We were there in that that building. Almost next door. You and me. We were... We were... Neighbors. Always there. There. There for me. Stella. Goodbye, sweet pea. Goodbye, Beverly. Bye, Beverly.
Uh, Oxbury. Okay, we'll, we'll do the... It, are we no longer restricted? Huh. It's convenient. I guess... Oh yeah, I guess we have lights on the front and... Uh, the boat's empty. <laughs> ah, thank you for the tiny bit of levity. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I go back to bed. That's just habit. Wow. Have some carrots. Now I just basically got to wait.
weapons. Oh, that's kind of weird. For the dice boys, don't forget the name. Yee. Yeah. I know you're the dice boys. I've I've helped uh, put your LP out. I think I got everything. And the boat's empty, so... Listen, I What you and if I did... I don't need to check. Selling goods is a harp profession. I'll put on something along the book and check on the chicken. Oh yeah, I guess I also... I don't even know why I'm still harvesting this stuff. I think it's just the work a day. <laughs> okay, th that amused me. Okay, I need, I, you know what? There, something to do, something to do, something to...
We'll knock this one out and then by then it'll probably be nighttime. Come on. Oh, I know what I'll do after this. I'm gonna go change my outfit. Oysters and olives. Bit of a weird combo, but hey. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Okay. I needed. Perfect. Do I need to do that? No. head back. Gotta wait a minute. Boing. 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 That's your first Montreal apartment, isn't it? When you moved out of the house to the big city. My big sister striking out on her own. Yeah, that place was such a dump. Sorry, sis. It was. You could decorate it all you wanted. It would always smell whatever your neighbors were cooking. You could hear them yelling at each other. Your rent was probably so cheap. Plus, you were all alone. No roommates. 
Well, not quite alone. With Daffodil. Speaking of which, I'm still mad at you for taking the family cat. I don't remember us talking that much during that time. You were busy with work. I was still in high school, not paying much attention. I don't think we had much in common. Except death, maybe. For me, after dad, I had to do something about it. I was trying to shut it out, but it kept coming anyways. I don't know how you can deal with it constantly. Working at the hospital with people at the end of their lives. Around you, all the time. Helping those people who are suffering in front of your eyes. There was Summer. She did not go quick. The cancer stayed inside her and took its time. It even gave her some hope. But it came back harsher. Mom was devastated. It's probably for the best that Rose wasn't around to see it. Rose was so kind-spirited and fragile. Losing her dear Summer would have broken her heart. I remember going to Summer's house with Mom, with all those plants in that heat. It was like a sauna. She said something about the body being like all living things, especially plants. I just remember being mad and sweating a lot. Then, there were the friends you made along the way. That Giovanni and his wife Astrid. To hear you talk about them, they were basically your adoptive grandparents. And the stories that would come out of their mouths. The cheating, the lies, the heartbreak, all those headaches. Can you imagine what Giovanni put Astrid through? But she was right at his side at the end. Even if she had moved on. Even if she had found someone else. It was her one and only Geo. Forever. And they both knew they only had each other in the end. That's how I want to go out, sis. Holding the hand of the one I adore. I think I need a refill. Maybe stretch my legs a bit. I'll be back in a minute. Don't you go anywhere. Gray Mist Peaks. Okay. Sorry, I've been going for a bit and I haven't had a sip of water, so I'm... Might go grab a, a sip of water while, uh... While we make the trek to Gray Mist.
Sorry about that. I have returned. Just got some water. Gramus was up at the top left. Yes. Okay. more emotional punches hey I'm back I'm sad to report that there were no cute doctors wandering the halls look at you you look so frail but even on your hospital bed you're still gorgeous well this whiskey bottle is half empty let's just go ahead and say you drank the rest do you remember that phone call you gave me last year? You had taken a sabbatical from work. I had to call the center to learn about it. Yeah, she took a few months off. She got some bad news. What a weird way to learn that your sister isn't doing well. So you call me two weeks or something after. It's maybe two in the morning here. Your voice was shaking. I could hear you breathing heavily. You started talking about the trees around you and the air. No, hi Lily. No, I'm not doing well. Nothing, just talking about the trees and the air. You said it was cold. That it felt like death even over here. I don't even know where here was. It went silent and then you said you'd be home in a few days. I didn't know what to make of it. Were you sleepwalking? Was the whole thing, that whole thing just a dream? I was scared. You came back and told mom and me of your diagnosis. And now, we're here together. Mom is awake. And I'm awake and holding your hand. If you can hear me. When you accidentally mute yourself. <laughs> God damn it. You're not alone in the woods anymore. We're here, Stella. You'll never be alone. You've never been alone. like we're completing spirit fair
Okay. I'm not I'm not taking the bus stop. So this is the end of Spirit Fair. I did not expect the game to be able to hit me this hard. It, the characters, the writing, and the end reveal, like what this has all been about. Holy hell. Like, this is the closest I've come to crying, period, since I was 12 years old. Hmm. I'm kind of annoyed at myself, because, you know, I thought it was a bit stronger than that. But hey. Live and learn, live and learn. What can you do? I will say, I do love the fact that there is no fail state in this game. The, the game is just play it for as long or as little as you want. Like, if you remember, like the Everdor, you have to ask them if they're ready to go. So you can do all this on your own time. How, on your schedule how you want to do it like if you want you could just have everyone on your boat per like and never take anyone but that's not fair holding on to someone or something because you'll miss them it's, it's not fair they deserve to be let go they deserve to be able to just go on You know, and you don't want them to go because you'll be a little bit sad is incredibly fucking selfish. Like, God damn it. I'm, I'm not angry, I'm like, oh, yeah, spoiler, after, after we send Stella, I'm going to end this stream. But yeah, it says Stella and Daffodil to the Everdor. So. This was just basically Stella's own personal end of life. Having. Recalling all her memories and all that stuff with people. All the people she helped out throughout her life. Because from the looks of it, she was like an end of life nurse? Or what's the term? Hospice nurse? I don't know. She might have just been a nurse. I, I don't know. I know there's different levels of nursing. Then again, what do I know? I'm I'm just some fuckwit who stands behind a switchboard. Right, let's get some fishing in. We had a tiny bit of time. Not much, but we're almost at the Everdor. Hey. A bowl for the last meal. Except Stella's never actually eaten. Yeah, that is one thing. You never have to care about that kind of thing with uh, your character because it's all about the people on the boat. I feel like I missed something though because I do because it's I've never found the XP potions or anything of the like. So I'm not, I'm not sure if I miss spirits or whatever but at this point I think it's this is the way to end Spirit Fair for me. 
Come here, Lily. Come here, Daffodil. Alright. That time, folks. From this point downwards, there is no turning back. Let's do it. Because this was never a 100% completion game for me. Or that sort of thing. So many trips, and now this is yours, Stella. Goodbye. One last hug. Bye, Stella. Bye, Daffodil. Ooh, okay. And that was Spirit Fair.
Sorry if I'm being quiet, just letting the scene play out. Of course, all love to our Thunderlings. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. And that was Spirit Fair, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we got 83% in 22, 23 hours. Thank you all for being here. This was a joy. This was so much fun. This was an emotional fucking game. Holy hell. <laughs>